<laughs> Pocket sand. Okay, we're now would, live. Would, would you get sued if you... Sorry, we're now live. live. That's what I meant. Oh, thank you. Look alive. <laughs> I am alive. Um, great, great. Yeah, look like to it. to my doctor. Uh, so, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, you should totally make a pocket sand card. <laughs> Just a bunch of sand in your pocket? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pocket as, a, as an attack. Or a defense, actually. It's the perfect... I don't feel like things modeled after Dale Gribble make rise to the level of super heroics. I... Not with that attitude. First of all... Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I, you have never been so wrong, Josh. <laughs> How as, dare as you, my, sir. As my awakening, I am taking... Dale Drupal. Angioni sense. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, I think I have figured out what's been infesting the Megalomart. Chuck Mangioni. Dale, no. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, enough of that. Enough fun. Let's get down to brass tacks. All right, so you you murdered all of your own robots, and so now you have a relatively brutally wounded old Scotsman laying on the floor. I healed him quite a bit. How much did you heal him for? It's been a week. I. <laughs> <laughs> It has well, been. Presumably, it's in these rolls somewhere. Yeah, we we, we no, it's fine. We can uh, we can look at the tape, right? We have uh, we have the oh, I haven't uploaded the vod. Never mind. We can't look at the tape. Please go ahead. Okay, at a guess, uh, eleven and fifteen, twenty six. Okay, all right, all right. Well, that that is he is he is stable, <laughs> but he is still not great. Um, he's very old, <clears throat> but he can at least talk now, so. All right. So, in his deep and hearty and blood-flecked brogue, uh, <clears throat> he's going to say, um, "Oh, thanks for your help, me laddies. A few more minutes, and I'd have been a goner." To which you reply, <laughs> "Oh, we clearly don't reply. We wait for him to say <laughs> more." To which you stand in stoic silence. Yeah. yeah. Shaking your head in disgust at this angle. <laughs> <laughs> we, to we, a we told you about the accent. We have asked you repeatedly, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fine. So he goes on. Um, <clears throat> you know, get me to the communications room. We need to see what's happening in the rest of the slab units. All right. All right. What slab units? <laughs> how do we move? How do we move in? <laughs> uh, he's, yeah, you can. You can. That's just. Is he mobile? Yeah, you can. And where's kind of the? Where's the communication room? The communication room is right here. Oh, it moved the map. Why does it do that? Because you're on the wrong layer. I hate what? I am totally in the right layer. You're not free. Oh my goodness. That's where the communication lab is. In Chomber. Whoever wants to pick him up can pick him up. Not doing it. Nope. <clears throat> not getting old all over. I me. have a I have a rule about Scott's blood. I can just chain teleport him there with mind over matter. And do it. And, and uh and whatchamacallem? Manifestations, yeah. Do it. Yeah, I just chain teleport him there. Manifestation of doop 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 doop. Outstanding. And it probably heals him along the way, also. Yeah, I think it does actually. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. I already forgot which number it was. I, is this like a bucket brigade with your with your manifestation? <laughs> Are they just whoop, like whoop, rolling whoop. him from one manifestation to another? <laughs> no, he just teleport. He just keeps switching places with. So yeah, he switches places with one. That's He's like, oh, <laughs> with the next one of the line. Ah! So, yes, is the, so the answer is, is yes. He arrives at his destination and farts all over. Yeah. <laughs> it is a bucket brigade, and he is the bucket. So <laughs> right. Passed. Yes. So, so, not the water, the bucket. <laughs> the barf is the water. Hmm. So he gets to the, <laughs> he gets to the communications room. Uh, you all should probably join him. Um, 
And there's a huge array of communications equipment and one of those big like industrial um, uh, first aid kits that's like white with the big green uh, cross on it. We immediately um, communicate. And he sort of staggers over to it and opens it, and it's just scotch. <laughs> it's can, just uh, nothing but bottles of scotch. Can we uh, let him know that it is uh, very rude for him to still be staggering after he's been healing? He's been healed twenty eight times. He has like nine hundred thousand hit points. Um, he's a he is a he is a strong strong man, full of hit points. <laughs> so it's mostly made of heat points at this point. Right, and most of the staggering was just that he hadn't had a drink of scotch and fish. Yeah, oh, he was <laughs> dangerously sober. <laughs> yes. It's like Popeye the spinach, but it's a Scotchman in scotch. Yes. <laughs> hmm. He's, he's so not he been pours... sober since the 30s. <laughs> yes. <laughs> pours, a, pours himself a glass of scotch, puts the glass of scotch in the uh, first aid kit, and then downs the bottle. <clears throat> All right. So, <clears throat> finding himself sufficiently fortified, he goes over to the communications panel and begins, uh, puts on his little headset and flips a, you know, very Frankenstein-looking switch. And there's sort of a whiff of ozone and a crack and pop of electricity. And sort of the whole room starts to hum a little bit. Um, and then all of the walls just kind of turn into, like, the... The old uh, <laughs> hmm. wallpaper just sort of shimmers away, and they're all like massive, obviously massive LED screens um, showing different slab facilities all over the world. <clears throat> um, and you know, well, roll to notice things. Who, uh, who is good at tech? Who's good at language? Well, I have electronics. Yeah, give me some tech and some and some language rolls, yeah. and you know, I know, I know everything. Um, what does that mean? Yeah, oh, I have electronics. Oh, nice. I have, I have know it all, which gives me a plus two d six to everything, uh, and I have society as an actual skill skill. Uh, what are we attaching this role to? Is it might? Are we observing or are oh. we figuring something out? Oh, and I know every. I can read, write, and speak every human language. Uh, you're just observing right now. Okay. Okay, so that's expertise. Oh, sweet. I love it when it's expertise. Here's a, a 17. I'm not paying any attention. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh. <laughs> <Shot>. <laughs> well? There. Uh, yeah, so that's a 23. Is this a ham sandwich or a guy? It's a ham sandwich. <laughs> Oh, that's a guy. Why do you look like Ben Shapiro? Hey! Now you've ruined this avatar for me, and I'll have to Actually, pick up Ben Shapiro everywhere. wishes he looks like Yeah, that. but no, I just looked at... The, I told you, I just found stock photos of people doing things with their voice. <laughs> of this weirdo whispering? Alright. <laughs> you look way oh, better man. as a ham sandwich. <laughs> Let me let me do better than this. Are are you actually okay. gonna use the lock? Can you can you delete the other uh, the other? There's two icons with my name. One of which is a hand sandwich, and one of which is a guy. Can you delete the hand sandwich, please? Uh, yeah. Uh, like where's a banshee or something from the X Men? Okay, I can I can definitely definitely get rid of that. Um, I totally know how to do that, and I am confident in my abilities. I this is an elaborate lie. Same there, for I deleted it. No, you you deleted the guy. <laughs> you told me. No, I told you to delete the ham sandwich. But you just changed your Abby to a ham sandwich. He, no. he asked you to delete the ham sandwich. <sighs> it's fine. It's no, fine. It's I'm, fine. I'm taking care don't, of it. Don't well, don't, don't, don't do don't do anything. Don't do anything. Leave me with the ham sandwich. I got it. <laughs> It's a very loud ham sandwich. Again, it just sounds like someone shuffling a deck of cards. All right, Josh, are you going to roll that again? No. Oh, okay. I thought Why would I roll that again? I thought you were going to do better. I thought you said you were going to do No, better. I'm taking care of this 
profile picture. It was oh. the Avatar situation. Oh, okay. So it doesn't look like Ben Shapiro telling me yes. that they have a secret between me and him. Ben Shapiro yeah. doesn't have a boon. And Who? and the name, yeah, he's the secret. The secret clearly regards butt stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time anyone ever does that elaborate of a shush. Yeah. Is please don't tell anyone about my proclivities. <laughs> yeah. About bots. Don't tell like anyone. But butt stuff. This is between you and me and the butt. <laughs> you and me and the devil makes three. Okay. So, uh, right. So those of you who are competent, which is not Josh, um, I just wasn't paying attention. I don't right. want this to be generalized. <laughs> <laughs> uh, notice that, um, you know, you kind of have an idea of the outline of um, the slab networks, um, but you've never quite seen it in this level of granularity. And also there's a lot of stuff going on this screen that you have not seen mm. before, or at least not at this level. Like there seems to be a lot of red text there seems to be a lot of like flashing warnings. There seem to be a lot of like exclamation points and things. Um, it it looks it doesn't necessarily look worse than you've ever seen, but it looks like in a lot more places things are happening than you've ever seen before. And so, um, <clears throat> your dear benefactor. Um, whose name I've forgotten, uh, Dr. Robertson, says, oh, it looks pretty pretty rough out there. I think they're hitting a number of slab facilities all over the world. And then another kind of set of information comes up, and you the distribution doesn't really make a huge amount of sense. Um, and he says... And we're getting reports, you know, we're getting reports on other attacks at scientific facilities. Hmm. Anything we can do about it? Well, he says, you know, we're, we're not really sure what the relationship is between all of the facilities. Who is uh, wishing some liquid in the background? What's happening? <laughs> oh, my dog is licking out a bowl. <laughs> so it sounds like someone switching liquid in the background. Because she has a very wet mouth. As opposed to... As dogs often do. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, you guys have a bunch of maps in front of you. You need to figure shit out. <clears throat> I refuse. A bunch of maps. I'm looking at the wrong screen, apparently. I think he means like imaginary maps. Oh, yeah, using mm. my imagination. Theater of the mind. The theater Got of it. the mind. Oh, uh, is that an invitation to roll additional dice? Yes. Well, tell also, me what you're by the to way, I would like to point out that the icon that you deleted had all my macros on it. God damn it. Yeah. Well, now I can't make fun of Josh for it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> How the tables have turned. How have the turns tabled? Here we go. I found the perfect. I found the perfect. Perfect Abby. For Marco. I. I'm, I'm very afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, if this is someone's butthole, Jack. <laughs> Not again. And one time. <laughs> it, it's just the reverse of the current image. <laughs> I don't see any images. Oh, are you saying well, I'm, I'm, I'm cropping it? Oh, okay. All right. So you've got maps. Yeah, I clearly I did a very good job of cropping my and making sure that uh, it was perfectly circular and had uh, uh, the background was transparent and all of that stuff and it saw like. And then I ruined it by saying. By it... hero. Mm. <clears throat> yes, th that part also wasn't great, but. <laughs> Let's see, can I to be fair, I still don't see the similarity. Like this, like 
but this guy has a beard with Ben Shapiro doesn't. Uh, his face shape is different. It's just like Ben Shapiro had a beard. Well, no, he doesn't. Does he not? I thought he had a little. I thought he had a little. Have beard. you ever seen Ben Shapiro? Uh, c- clearly not. I the only <laughs> depiction of him I've ever seen is his Twitter Avi. So maybe that's the problem. No, ben Shapiro does not have a beard. I do my best to not look at Ben Shapiro. I mean, yeah, I mean, rightly so. I mean, to be fair, who knows right now, right? In times of coronavirus, maybe he let himself go, but... There it is. Awesome. There's that's, Marco. That's great. <laughs> How did you even find that? <laughs> I am Key words to bring that up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I actually kind of like that. <laughs> I assume he probably just drew that in like the last five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> just shouting at a wall, listening. This is also a depiction of Ben Shapiro. <laughs> <laughs> just shouting at a wall. A, li- a man shouting Shapiro. in a literal echo chamber, yes. <laughs> All right. But in any case, like the that's, party. that's the perfect Marco icon. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of practice finding icons for, for Marcus characters. <laughs> I still love the time that I did an accidental Google bomb um, because I used the same icon and looked it up every week for like four years. And yeah, slowly but surely that icon came to the top of the list. <laughs> <laughs> That was probably just for me, but you know. All right. Yes. <clears throat> so you're looking at maps. You have obviously geographic data. You have an enormous number of languages, and you're trying to figure out what the relationships are between all of these things. Um, what are you rolling? Um... Who's got what? I mean, you've got a language guy, so that helps. Yeah, once I hung I am a character. I am okay. writing my macros because somebody deleted them. Esot- I'm sorry, Marco. I do feel really bad about that. Yeah, I have, I have also- healing. So. Yeah, I have esoterica healing in society. Okay, well, esoterica and society will probably help. I'm on Dude. drugs right now, and I have um, <laughs> effortless aptitude. So I figure I'm just gonna kind of. Just go something. with the flow. Yeah, yeah just go with the flow. Blurt out whatever something. the ambient tells you to. Yeah, and it's going to tell me a 12. I say go for it. All right, so Jabberwock blurts out what the ambient is, <laughs> is saying, <laughs> which is, which is <laughs> look to the skies. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what I get. There you go. There you go. That is that's, that that's, is your, your daily flu. dose of Jabberwock wisdom. All right. I can try another society role, I guess, to sort of parse yeah. together what all the society would help, and and so would Esoterica. Okay, well, I got both. Can I upper? I can. Yeah, I'm gonna make a religion role. check. Nice. Right. So if that's actually, twenty one. Uh, which one is this for? Uh, uh, society. Okay. So you're kind of thumbing through, you know, your your knowledge of these different places and cultures, and you're kind of there. There really isn't anything that unifies them, which seems a little bit weird. Okay, I'm I'm doing a conspiracy check. Okay, check for conspiracy. Eleven, not very good. No, you do not detect a conspiracy between all of these words and geographic locations. This does not feel like some sort of bizarro conspiracy. First of all, you're wrong. First of all, how <laughs> dare you? Yeah. <laughs> you don't define me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Esoterica it up. Matt? I, I rolled Esoterica. Oh, you rolled oh, Esoterica. I see. Yeah. All right. okay, my, my esoterica role is a complete blunder. It's an it's an only an eleven. Yeah, that's that is also not great. Um, <laughs> but your esoterica does help you a little bit, which is you already knew that these were scientific facilities, and now you're trying to figure out what kind of scientific facilities. So now you're looking for shared words, um, and luckily, your esoterica was enough to figure that out. Um, okay. 
So as you're looking at all of these screens and trying to figure out, and what does this look like while you're doing this? Are you like, are you like beautiful minding it? Or are you just like standing in the back of the room, like quietly? Uh, no, he's probably talking about how, you know, uh, you know, oh, okay. Patrick says that this means this and, you know, Volstheim time says that this means this. Nice. And, you know, so. Do increasingly transparent equation up, uh, start appearing in front of you and fading towards the background as you do that? Not in, not until I get my little highlighter out and start drawing. Like, and, and writing on the windows. <laughs> Persistence and vision, yeah. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. Have you seen that episode of, of Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Where... Uh, the chief and the lead detective both get really bad mumps and they're quarantined. <laughs> yes. And they're like getting totally trashed on like mumps medicine. And they think that they're absolutely brilliantly solving this case. And at one point they just cut over to the chief who's just writing the word case over and over again on the window. <laughs> like, oh. no, nothing is happening. Like, <laughs> all right. Good. Um, okay. So you are beginning to understand that uh, most of the facilities that are being hit have one thing in common, and that is they are either broadcasting satellites or they are they're either broadcasting dishes or they are receiving dishes. The dish thing. And what's really weird oh. is... A lot of them are scientific, but a, a small handful of them are uh, not scientific. They're they're like so, media. There is like a there is a word map type thing, right? Going on on the board, going on on the on this flat screen type things. Essentially, yeah. What is going on in Arecibo? Okay, so uh, so you do your like um, you know minority report thing, where you <laughs> move over to the screen and like blow up Arecibo a little bit. Um, and you notice that that is one of the facilities that has been hit, but it's the only one that's gone completely dark. Like you are no longer receiving any information from it currently. I, yeah, I mean, I think the time to double check that by cross checking with other facilities, like... Mm -hmm. Yep. So... Then, and that confirms it, right? Like, that actually... Yeah. That absolutely confirms it. That is that is the one that is, like, completely offline. They haven't had any updates in, like, half an hour. And all of the others are at least reporting in, you know, something bad happened, we got weird interference, things are going crazy. Um, but this one is just, like, we're having an emergency, and then gone. No uh, data. Uh... Guys, you know how old places are giving reports that, that I think this I, I think specifically here they're doing worse, and I show them that that there isn't that everything has gone dark. Nice. All right. Why? Why do you say nice? I don't believe you. Well, you solved it. You've figured out that, that that things are bad there. You've done well. I don't believe you. <laughs> so, Dr. Robertson takes a big swig of scotch and he says, All right, uh, team, I think it's about time you are sent off on your own. Time for my little birdies to fly. Well, go on. <laughs> we'll take to the skies. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you say fly, do you mean like literally? <laughs> do you have like a plane? Because <laughs> that Acebo is pretty far. It yeah. is very far. You, you are going to have to, you're gonna have to yeah. get there by some means. Do we have a modified SR-71 Blackbird under a basketball court? I assume court we have a Blackbird. Have... I mean... <laughs> I, assume, I assume everyone just has a blackboard, a blackbird under their just basket. around. Yeah, yeah. Just nope, we have it. <laughs> Sorry, we're on the budget plan. We have a modified A10 Thunderbolt. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You have a Cessna. It's going. You're gonna have to stop a lot. <laughs> we're gonna stop with camel. Yep. With seats glued to the top of the bywing. <laughs> <laughs> 
Great. We could take turns on those. <laughs> there you go. All right. You have to. You just have to figure out some sort of buddy system um, for the wings of the Sopwith camel. Um, yeah. Wait. So you can either fly commercially, uh, or you can go there using slab resources. But remember, slab resources are a little bit tied up at the moment. It is your call. I'll I mean, fly there. We need the slab resource money to buy it. Flying first class. <laughs> First class? Yes. What do y'all want to do? The plane seems better than a boat. Uh, uh, yeah, I think we, we launch ourselves out of there via catapult. I, I mean, it really, there. it really comes down to how urgent you feel this is. Um, well, <laughs> I mean, we should be told, right? Like, I well. You, like, what's your passports? feel? I mean, what's your what's your sense, based off of the reports that you got? It, it seems pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> Trust your gut. Well, what's the fastest way to get there? Uh, definitely to use slab resources. We'll do it. Oh really? Oh yeah. Let's oh yeah. Them. Oh my god, yes. Yeah. Because if we don't, there won't be any slab resources left. See, hey. now you're thinking like a hero. <laughs> Collateral damage first. Apologies tomorrow. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So there's a Scottish basketball court. Um, no. <laughs> um, yeah. It's a, it's a Highland Games field. It, yeah, exactly. There's You have to toss the caber exactly right. And then it. Right. Like, Will you stand on top of the caber and they <laughs> launch you? Yes. Each caber is secretly. Transatlantic caber toss. Yeah. You just lash yourself to a caber and the old man throws you and then the boosters kick in. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, so all of that happens. No, um, so basically uh, he then like punches, you know, the big red sexy superhero button um, on the, uh, you know, hardwood um, Scottish table that he has all of this stuff set up on. Um, and, uh, you can kind of see rumbling out of these windows, um, you know, the hangar rising from, um, the caber tossing court. Okay. I head out there. Who can Excellent. fly this thing? Can any of you fly? Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, you know how to do many things. Does <laughs> one of them fly? Well, I, I don't even know what flying would be. I have effortless aptitude. I mean, I probably flew something once. I have like you can figure it out. I can figure it out with my. Oh, you've got the aptitude, aptitude thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. All right. Are you all gonna trust yourselves to the stoned Jabberwock flying an experimental spy plane? <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming that. Ass. I'm assuming that. <laughs> At least one of us can fly, so that he's dead. Right. But... I didn't join Slab to be lectured about sobriety. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right. Awesome. What other way? What else would it be? Engineering or what is? It's piloting? like uh, that is orthogonal to the skill system. Yeah, I, I think th I think this is just one of those things where, like, at some point, have you flown a plane, or do you need a Slab guy to do it for you? I do not believe my character would have flown a plane at any point whatsoever. I've flown a helicopter. You know, Excellent. Island hopping helicopter. See, there you go. You've got the basics already. And that yeah. combined with your ability to... Um... It's way easier to fly a plane than a helicopter. So it's pretty <laughs> much there. Yeah, well, there you go. All right. All right, you good. So you hop in your mm. plane and uh, you blast away off into the distance. And the um, plenty of pilots are on uppers all the time. You can see, yeah, <laughs> yeah, just during World War II, and that seemed fine. <laughs> yeah. There's a book about it. <laughs> Hi, Hitler. Yeah. All right, so you guys fly. You're in the air for a while. Um, the Jabberwock is, you know, riding riding the the sine wave of uppers and downers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, just <laughs> when you get too perky, hit me with the ketamine, and then if I start, if I start looking droopy, hit me with the cocaine. Right, and if I look like I'm on an even keel, bourbon. Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just, just give me a, a vodka and Red Bull. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Red Bull, man, that's an invention. Oh my God, that actually happened during an F1 race uh, with Sterling. I think it was Sterling Moss. But anyway, he gets to the race in a Jaguar X1, which at the time was the lariest, most terrifying sports car that had ever been made. It had no downforce and it was tremendously powerful. And he gets to the race, he goes to qualify, he doesn't qualify, goes to the bar and gets completely trashed. And then they were like, oh, somebody like found him at the bar and they were like, oh, they, the, the judges were wrong. You did qualify. So, <laughs> so he gets behind the wheel of this car, completely hammered. And uh, he won that race, actually. Yep. Makes me think. It's like Doc Ellis throwing the no-hitter on LSD. <laughs> nice. Well, that probably help. No. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you all... Uh, so... I mean, how big is our sample size? <laughs> <laughs> Do we know that it doesn't? I'm, I'm pretty sure it was not a good idea. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think history says different. <laughs> So you see the Isle of uh, Puerto Rico appearing in the distance. Um, where are there you going to put this bird down? On it. Yeah, yep. on Puerto Rico. <laughs> on the ground. Well, do we want to fly right to the lab headquarters? The, 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 um... See if you can like land it in the Arecibo dish so we kind of do like a Tony Hawk, like, woo! Thing we yeah, and then do a, do a 360. <laughs> I don't yeah. think you understand down. how the Arecibo dish is constructed. <laughs> uh, can we this get permission like to buzz the tower? No, uh, jokes aside, nope. does this nope. plane uh, turn into a skateboard? Because then I think we've grabbed so absolutely. It does not it. turn into a skateboard. And nope. how is that jokes aside? Ignorance with apathy. <laughs> All right, where are y'all gonna land? Come on, chop chop. Well, is there a is there a landing strip nearby? Uh, near the um, near, near the, Arecibo. Uh, they, I mean, everything is somewhat nearby on Puerto Rico. It's not enormous. It's um, miles wide. But uh, but yeah, there, there's actually a couple of airports that are relatively. Do you have to go to San Juan. Is that the uh, closest you can. airport? It is certainly the biggest. I mean, I think we just go to like a, an empty field nearby, right? I mean, we're superheroes. We're not like, hey, we're coming in for. How uh, how good at landing is this thing? I think the FAA, the FAA is, uh, you know, in force. They are, yes. I think I think that what we do is we just uh, we just all jump with the parachute when we are above the thing, and then the plane crashes somewhere, and it's fine. It's not a problem. That will probably hurt Slab's funding. Yeah, that sounds like that problem. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a problem for tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Um, there, they, okay, it is extremely mountainous around Arecibo. Um, so it looks, at like, the, so it looks like the nearest airport is Rafael Hernandez International Airport, which is on the northwest corner of the island. Yes, and it is fairly small, but it is capable of landing a craft of your size. Yeah, we're not. We're not. It's not a seven forty seven. Like, yes, we're fine. Yeah, but you yeah. may have to uh, um, inform the FAA that you're about to land since you are currently since, off radar. Since we're about to land. <laughs> yes, <laughs> since you're about to land and not on anyone's radar. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so what are you going to say to them over the radio? <laughs> Oh. I don't know how that act with the FAA. <laughs> well, <laughs> well this, this is gonna be fun. Like I literally, I literally, here. like I pay people to fly planes for me. I don't. Have to. It'd be All a right. bus with pointy sides. You just need to know what your current airspeed is, what your current bearing is, and uh, what altitude you're at, and which airspace you're in. Well, th those are all those are all on the handy dials in front of us. Yes, <laughs> clearly some of these must say that. <laughs> All right, who's, we, who's gonna? Can we just uh, take take a take a picture? Like, can we just use our phones to take a picture of like the dashboard and then have them figure it out? Yeah, we just just <laughs> text them the picture. Yeah, I'll send you a selfie with the pertinent information. Even better, we just post it to Twitter and we can, we just tag them and that we just hashtag the official. It. Yeah, at 
F- we just tap them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Landing in ten minutes. Here's the deets. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. <laughs> Fucking millennials. <laughs> All right. So, who's going to talk to the FAA, and what exactly are you going to tell them? They do a barrel roll. Um, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Can't... I'm too busy trying to figure out the correct hashtag. To I use. thought one of you was trained. Who's trained in society? I am. I am. Yeah, we'll society it up, schmooze away. Would a would a debutante be able to uh Absolutely navigate this? As, you're a superhero, yes. So okay. 16, sixteen. Okay. Let's Anybody else? Split. Anybody can, gonna help him out? I can wing it. Is this vitality? Or uh you're trying as hard as you can, yes. You're not observing something. You are doing something. society, I get to add a whole I get to add a D six to my critical fail. <laughs> Ten. Nice. Hey. Well, I did. <laughs> All right. So we have a ten and we have a sixteen. Anyone else? Oh, wait. Can you know help what? Wait. That's the... not. Wait. 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 That's not two d eights. I think my macro is bad. My macro has failed. Taste it. Here's a fifteen. <laughs> that is a d six. No. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, nice. I got a. So we have two sixteens, a fifteen, and oh, whatever yeah, yeah. Todd ends up rolling. <laughs> Wait, I got an eighteen. That's right. We yes. are doing the equivalent of verbally schmoozing on these idiots. Yeah, this is, <laughs> yeah I'm doing. You, you are I'm, you are effectively schmo- schmoozing. Uh, I'm just doing drawing. whatever they did in uh, the Todd. Leonardo DiCaprio movie. <laughs> oh, uh, Titanic. No, catch me, can, catch, catch me if you can. <laughs> Oh, catch me if you can. There we go. I, I also, he was also Gangs in The York? Aviator, where he played literally Howard Hughes, so I wasn't sure. No, was. not that one. <laughs> not that one for sure. The famous airplane man. Um, uh, yes, the so, airplanesman. Yeah. So you guys managed to schmooze, schmooze this guy. You drop out of um, radar blind spot. Um, and uh, immediately are contacted by the FAA saying unidentified plane. Um, please. Um, Why didn't we just register a flight plan when we took off? Yeah, you <laughs> totally should have done that, but your pilot was really, really high and drunk. Um, I mean, right. we usually don't need to do that. We just, you know. That's exactly what we tell them. We're like, look, we're sorry. We, we know we should have done we this, but our pilot. The yeah. Um, so the FAA guy, you know, says, you know, please, please report a designation. Um, you are about to enter restricted airspace. I tell him that we can now see you on radar for the, the HMS Pinafore. We're headed west, west, northwest, and we're going and is between this... eighty and eight thousand knots. <laughs> Is this the Bay of Pigs? <laughs> yeah. Is is the appropriate question to ask. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Um, we're gonna need a little bit more information than that. Um, you you you're registering a very interesting. Uh, 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 um, what do you call that? Uh, F- Radar signature? F- no. What's the 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 um. F O F O F signal or whatever the oh the. IDF, yeah, no, not IDF, yeah, whatever, whatever that is. The identified the defense force. force. Yes, the Israeli. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get this plane, yeah. Jabberwock? <laughs> Old I mean, just found it. Yeah. <laughs> it was just lame, Dad. <laughs> yeah, so he's he basically says, um, you know. Uh, I, I'm picking up your identify uh, friend or foe um, ping now, um, and you are cleared to land. Um, do you need any help from our security forces? Uh, we presume no. <laughs> okay. Very good. Please, <laughs> please land northbound on runway two. All right, I'll do it. So you, you got this, how, and I slap hey, Jabberwock on the back. How do we know with which? The, with how the, do we know which one is runway two? They are numbered. They're hmm. always numbered from west to east, oh. and they're always in the same number. 
I don't know how airplanes <laughs> work. Or aeroplanes. Alright, so... Jabberwock, roll to land. I got this. <laughs> and this is how we all die. <laughs> yeah, campaign <Right>. over. <laughs> Well, you just might be taking a boat back. Oh, dear. That's um, pretty good. No, no, yeah, that, that is sufficient. Okay. No, no, no. You're all right. You're all right. Um, okay. So it is a very hard landing. Mm. Um, you think maybe you have done some damage to this plane, but everyone survives and you do manage to roll it into a hangar. I do love it when I forget, when I, when I survive. <laughs> any, thing, any landing you can walk away from. Also, was anyone yeah. wearing a seatbelt? <laughs> I'm assuming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Raise your hand if you were wearing a seatbelt. I was wearing a seatbelt. <laughs> okay, good. If you were wearing a seatbelt, you're fine. If not, take a fatigue. <laughs> I mean, oh, I'm only loosely moored to reality. It so. does not matter. <laughs> that was brutal. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so now you have to get from this airport to... Uh, they basically direct you into a hangar, and then the hangar doors close, and you're now sitting in an airplane in the dark. Okay, we leave. It's fine. Turn on the lights. Turn on the airplane lights. Excellent. You turn on the airplane lights. You can see inside the hangar. It is a hangar. Okay. Oh, no, I'm afraid of hangers. Quick, turn off the hangar, the, the airplane lights. <laughs> That wasn't a very good joke. I'm sorry. I, I I'm off. I, I'm off my game. I I can't do better than that. I I'll, uh... I'd like to formally apologize for that joke. <laughs> All right. Uh. Okay. I turn on. I I open. I open the door of yep. the airplane and I give a. <laughs> the lights come on. No, but you can. That, see well, that usually the, works because the plane lights are on. Well, yeah, but I assume that the hangar lights are on a clapper. Uh, they are not on a clapper. But you can see enough. To I'm execute. profoundly disappointed with this situation. <laughs> I, th I don't think that would play again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of shit hangar is this? I, I, it, it must be broken. Can we have a better hangar, please? <laughs> shit hangar is a terrible concept that I will not explore further. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like right. a sheet? Is is that like more or less sheet than like a sheet silos? <laughs> Gross. Moving right along. What are you gonna do? Chop chop. Leave the hangar. Well, we yep. need to like secure the plane. <laughs> I think I think the answer was continue clapping our hand and, until the until the lights turn on. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> no. leaving the hangar. All right. I go to the rental car desk. Yep. I impersonate a celebrity. Totally. And I convince them to give me a free rental car. Genius. <laughs> nice. All right. Nice. Roll to make it happen. Okay. Also, who are you impersonating? And is it James Dean? Um, is it someone who's literally dead? <laughs> no, this is a living person. Okay. <laughs> uh, but it's someone that you probably haven't seen. John Stamos. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hold famously on. doesn't have a recognizable face at all. <clears throat> what? This what, is where I Google you... who is John Stamos. Okay. Why are you typing and why is it the number three? Uh because I get I get uh I get plus D six to that. Oh, so you rolled a sixteen? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, all right. You you definitely convinced this person that you are John Stamos. Yeah, um, I'm wearing the, I'm wearing, isn't there a thing where John Stamos and someone else have t-shirts of each other? That say, I'm not the other person? It's like him and maybe like Chris Hemsworth or something. Nice. I'll, I'll look it like, up. Uh, but they don't look anything alike. No, no, no. It's, that's not the thing. Oh, that's it's, not the joke. Okay. It's just that they're, like, appreciating each other, and then oh. it's recursive. And that's I'm wearing one of those. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, you were already wearing that back at uh, back at HQ. Um, yeah, you've you've managed to convince them that you are John Stamos or John Stamos's representative. Um, and, yeah, 
uh, in, in, in sufficient. I convinced them that I'm a John Stamos impersonator. <laughs> you now have a you now have a car. Um, All right, let's and go. Interestingly, uh, because you did not hail a cab, um, you have to make your way there uh, by yourselves. I hope someone's got their roaming data turned on. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, okay, everybody hop in. Who's navigating? I look square in the eyes of uh, the every right. person. <laughs> Who's navigating? <laughs> and without taking my eyes off the every person, floor it. Just peel out of <laughs> I, I assume the Jabberwock was driving. Why are you not no. in charge of driving? I'm actually because after, that, after that landing, we cons- we after after having taken a fatigue, we we <laughs> com- we reasonably do not trust Jabberwock with driving our vehicles anymore. I'm actually sleeping in the back seat. <laughs> nice, sleeping it off, slightly hungover. <laughs> All right, uh, everyone. Wow, you uh, immaculately. Uh, make your way to uh, the Arecibo so Almost missing the exit and then yelling this was our turn. <laughs> <laughs> there is, there's none of that. There's none of that. You you nail it. I'm I'm we're all impressed. Even even the disembodied GM is impressed. Yeah. Um all right, so how do I get the players? Oh, okay. You just drag the little players flag. See <laughs> There's it's the one part of the interface that's actually totally reasonable and really user friendly. So it took me like nine hours to figure out because it doesn't work like, like anything it else. Be <laughs> it, it should be obvious. Right. All right. So I like that that this picture still says Google. Look, I You can turn off the markers and text. I'm not gonna be bothered to do that. Uh the I literally remove things from historic pictures all day long. No, no, no. There's a toggle you can hit on Google Maps that takes them away. Oh, nice. Oh, well, I'll yeah. do that next time. I yeah. mean, it's not in the way of anything you need to do. Um, so how are you guys going to approach? You have to approach from the north on 625 because that is your only hmm. option. There well, is only one road. Wait, to wait, 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 wait a goddamn second. <clears throat> like... I'm assuming there's other stuff going on to Arecibo that isn't slab related, right? Like, <laughs> I'm assuming. I have I have logistical questions. Yes. It was the middle of the night. Is that right? I, I it's like I, dawn now. I think so. Yeah. Because it's like a, it's probably like a seven hour flight and we get huh. yeah i mean back for from you, time zones for so you, yeah it's like dawn right now yeah and, for and you, it took us like an hour to drive here yeah 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 probably not an hour it's only 50 miles it well let's say half an hour to drive here okay so it's like dawn yeah. okay or like hmm. a little after dawn okay it's it's miller time somewhere all right well fair enough is what the Jabberwock says from the backseat. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. All right, so you're coming in on 625. Um, there's Big Metal Gate. Um, and the Big Metal Gate is right here. Where, it, oh, come on. Where it says 625. It's right there. And you cannot drive any further. Unless you want to lose your deposit. <laughs> I mean, I didn't pay a deposit. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we might want to have a car. <laughs> Come on. It's fine. You just pretend to be, I don't know, some other John Stamos level celebrity. I mean, <laughs> you can floor it, but remember, you're not in a military vehicle anymore. You're in a crap rental car. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Look. We aren't zero. going into a military facility. We're going into a national research center. Like, yeah, we yeah. don't need to floor it and just be like, hi, we would like to visit the telescope to let us in. That's how national labs work. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that that seems... Except, the, except that my wallet is a sandwich. 
That's true. Like I, I open it up and my my driver's license is stuck to one slice of bread with mayonnaise. Well, at least you have your driver's license. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Or John Stamos. Right. Like, as you get us to get the rental, Stephen, this isn't like this is reality. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you, what are you gonna do? You're at the gate. You're. No, I mean, are. the question is, is it, is it no. on fire? No. No, no, okay. Like, there's, no, there's not smoke rising from this facility? There's no smoke. There's no outward signs no. of duress. But, like, the, that's my okay. That's my point. I not know. not everything there. that is happening in Arecibo is lab-related. I think if the telescope had seized the old working, we would have heard that otherwise. We don't need to go to the actual telescope. We need to figure out what the lab-related activities here are and where the lab facility is there an obvious robot manning the gate? There is no one manning the gate. Well, then I just go into the booth and let us in. You ah. can absolutely do that. All right. So you go into the booth. Um, there's a whole series of buttons and switches, but you know it's not rocket science. It's pretty obvious. I look obvious. at the one that's, that's, been, the one that's been worn down to it. by being beaten <laughs> yes. hundreds of times a day for the rest of its life. Are there any little like TV like TVs with like camera feeds on them uh there yes there is what appears to be a cc uh uh um cctv camera pointed at the car um and like a little crappy crt screen that shows the car and its current occupants minus you okay was there anything it, but there's no screens to like deeper in the facility no no okay nope. i just i just i just open the gate okay so you push the button to open the gate and the gate rolls open. It's a little bit slower than maybe you would like. Um, and a uh, klaxon starts going off. I think it did that. I get back in the car. Look at threads. Drive. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so now you have another choice. Um, there is a, uh, there is a fork in the road right here. We go to the left, obviously. Uh, your left or my left? We are, uh, we are coming from the <laughs> north, right? Yes. We are going to our left, so we're going east. Universal standard left okay. or right. Okay. What? So, okay. <laughs> we're going east on this map. We we're taking the eastern path. Okay, so this way. Yes. You're, you're going to go down this road here. Yes, because yeah. that's where the Google... Uh, we just put Arecibo in Google, and that's where Google is telling us to go, since that's, go. Where oh, the, yeah. the, that's where the pin is, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're going to the pin. Seems totally reasonable. All right. Yeah. So you, you drive... To, how fast are you driving down this road, by the way? Uh, leisurely. Okay, so you're not you're not going like seventy down this. Road. No, not once we're inside the facility. Okay, um, you you still can't really see anyone or anything. Uh, you've got another fork. You've got another choice. We're we're heading to the pin. Okay, so you continue down towards hmm. uh this facility, uh here. Uh, okay. So as you make your way, the car gets to, you know, a, I, I guess about there-ish. Um, and you uh, notice something in the road. Uh, roll to identify what it is. There is a black thing across the road. It's a corpse. It is not a corpse. You can tell that. What are we rolling? This looks like a black piece of plastic. Could it be a corpse? Is it about it engineering? Are you are you rolling engineering? I think this is probably engineering. Yeah. Based on. Uh, you're probably doing this fairly hard. So vitality. Do I get to apply know it all to this? What does know it all cover? Uh, I will read the description. It's recalling information. Yeah, two d six bonus when using any skill check to recall a piece of information. In addition, uh, you're able to. Yeah, to this read, this could conceivably something be something you would have seen hmm. before oh geez whiffed it 12 <laughs> 12 is whiffing it <laughs> rolling a d12 two d6s and adding four yeah all right that's fair i have rolled the 17 for what it's worth 
Yes. <laughs> nice. From the back seat. <laughs> From the back seat. Mm. Oh, and uh, wait. Uh, yeah. I assume okay. we're not all in the front seat. <laughs> Heck yeah. Was... Yeah. <laughs> You're just sitting it, sitting in. I, 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 I'm sitting in Fred's yeah, lap. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, this, this is a manual too, so it's getting very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, whisper. Um, instead of whispering, uh, you yell, uh, "Spike strip." I stop the vehicle. The car, expl- <laughs> the car, the car explodes. Yeah. So you you just barely managed to stop the vehicle before you hit this strip, um, and then uh, a bunch I'm of going at thirteen and a half miles per hour. Yeah. <laughs> Posted sign. Yes. <laughs> Good. So you you stop well before the spike strip, and you are saved from a thirteen mile per hour car crash. Yeah. And a, and a scuffed knee. Um, oh, embarrassing. But when you stop the car, um, a bunch mm. of uh, special forces roll out uh, on both sides of the road. And you have guns pointed at you. They're classic sort of all in black with mm. some interesting looking firearms. Uh, okay, to be clear, these are not wearing the like security uniform from what would be a national research center, right? Yes. They're not. They're, we're not getting stopped by the Fermi La Police. People on this call who know <laughs> what security looks like at a national research center. Yeah, and that ain't it. Um. So I step out of the vehicle, and okay. as I step out of the vehicle. Like I am wearing a like a black suit, and black sunglasses, okay. and I like reach reach into my jacket and I pull out a very official FBI badge. Oh, and nice! I just make it to know what's going on. Okay, that is. I even wrote a thing for that. Okay. Um, <laughs> for for nearly that exact. Uh, uh, <laughs> For the we pretend to be important people. (laughs) (laughs) Scenario. Nearly that exact ridiculous scenario. Um, All right, so I'm gonna assume you're doing this as hard as you can. Yeah. (laughs) So hard. This is this is linked to your vitality. Um, hard. We're going to try to schmooze these. Sort of unnamed, unmarked, uh, fifteen special forces. Seriously? Yeah. All right. Well, you do manage to schmooze <laughs> these guys. Um. <clears throat> and wait, what? Did, what did you announce at the start of it? I don't. What did you, what I did don't, you he say? Wants to know what's, he what's wants your, to know what's going on. Yeah. What's yeah. Your, yeah. What's your line? Yeah, I demand a status. I demand a status report. Yeah, but who did you identify yourself as? Uh, Bert Macklin. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I identify myself as Agent John Waters, FBI. <laughs> Agent, okay. jo- Agent, Agent John Stamos. <laughs> and and so these guys kind of look around. They absolutely believe you because you have completely bamboozled and schmoozed them. Um, but they say, oh, crap, it's the FBI. And basically demand you get down on the ground. Uh, <laughs> I, I walk confidently toward them. Yes. And just, like, just get, attempt to get directly in their face in the most indignant <laughs> Like just the carniest way yeah. possible. Your your mustache grows significantly. Yeah, yeah. Your age it gets gray. It, it gets more salt and pepper as I walk yeah. towards them. Yeah. <laughs> your aviators shining like justice. Yeah, yeah. The not the not the number of degrees of gray in the number of various <laughs> shades of gray. In your mustache. Aviators are aviators are now mirrored on the inside as well. Yeah, <laughs> can't see a damn thing. 
uh, but my own eyes, but my own passion for justice. <laughs> yeah. All right, so roll it up again um, to see if you continue to charm these folks. Right. Oh, 14. 14. Nice. Okay, so you, you continue to charm them. Um, what are you what are you saying to them right now besides shining with with the you know the I, I, steel I, 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 I do not uh, that is not the way you address a senior officer of the Federal Bureau of Investigation and I like I when I walk up to this person I like disarm him but I do it in a way of like inspecting him right so I'm like like first of all like shape up. Like, get right. your shit together. <laughs> the, the guy that you're talking to is now standing at attention. Yeah. You have his gun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just, like, sling it over my shoulder and go to, like, walk on to the next one. Okay. I'm like, tell me your name. Uh, 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 he sort of stammers out. Um, and then he starts speaking, but he's not speaking in English like the other guy was. Okay, I, like, glance over, uh... <clears throat> Like, I gl glance over at the car. I, I do not speak whatever language that's in. <laughs> <laughs> it's, if, if only we had somebody that can speak that language. Yeah. <laughs> I get out of the car, and I'll, I will stand behind him and off to one side. <laughs> did, you also, uh, did you also automatically sprout uh, aviators uh, in uh, <laughs> the time? No, no I, I, I do not create my own um, accoutrement. All right, so the appearance of another person is a bit of a shock to these troopers, and they're kind of like, "Wait, wait, wait a minute! Who's, who's this? Who's this other guy? The guy that, whose weapon you took says this." He's my translator. I don't speak Spanish. Okay. Um, but 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 but, sir, he wasn't speaking Spanish. He was well, I don't speak whatever that was either. <laughs> What part but of FBI what do you not American. understand? Son? Yeah, <laughs> Federal Bureau of Investigation in America, sweetheart. <gasps> There's a flag waving in the background. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You I'm can see it. you can see an American flag reflected <laughs> in my aviator. <laughs> 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 Yeah, right. There is a flag, but you can absolutely see it. just a like billowing flag reflected in my aviator. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't salute is a communist. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> that, that kind of, kind well, of one of these like... guys gets immediately taken away on threat of communism, even though that is not a thing anymore. And also, there is yeah, no yeah, one yeah. to take them away. Oh, no, no. Red <laughs> scare them on out of here. He was practically so, in their backwaters. So this guy kind of buys it, um, and he allows your your translator to come over. Um, but while all of this is going on. Uh, one of the other troopers notices that there are two additional people in this car and <clears throat> shouts over in a language that no one understands except for uh, everyone. <laughs> except, for, <sorry. laughs> except for everyone. I love making you do this. And everyone uh, understands it as, you know, there's... There's four people in this car. Or, there's two more people in this car. Oh, everyone. You also notice that the guy who was... There's one guy speaking English. There's another guy speaking, like, Farsi. And okay. there's another guy who's speaking Spanish. Are they speaking those languages to each other? or yep. Okay. And they seem they seem to have no problem understanding each other at all, okay. but that does seem a little weird to you. Yep, yep, yep. Usually you have one common, or at least one plus one, two common languages. Usually it's English. <laughs> <laughs> the lingua Sorry. franca. Yes, English, the lingua franca. Um, <laughs> <sighs> okay. All right. So he still didn't yeah. answer my question. Um, what the situation is here. Uh, they're they're slightly less schmoozed by you now that they know that there are more people in the car. Um, so the, the English-speaking guy 
who you still have his gun, basically says, hey, wait a minute, you know, who are, who are all these other folks if you just have one translator? The detainees. Detainees There's been a bunch what? of that malarkey going on around here. <laughs> well, 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 yes. I mean, they're, they're, uh, we're, we've got the situation under control. I need more, I need more detail on that. Well, I, I you poke know, him. I'm not, I'm fingers. not really authorized uh, to, to tell you any more than that, uh, uh, sir. Um, well, who is authorized? Uh, Polya. Polya is probably authorized to tell you that. I look around for Polya. Did yes. he identify himself? Uh, Polya is a woman's name. Um. Uh, wait, 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 wait I... a fucking second. Are, are, are we getting the, is this a Ligma joke? Are you trying to Ligma us? Is that what's happening here? <laughs> Polya is an actual name. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nickname. It's a diminutive of uh, Polina. They invented the diminutive for saving an entire letter? Yeah, look, it's yes. Ru it's Russian. They can do whatever the hell they want. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so, <laughs> if Sasha is a valid valid nickname for Alex whatever Sorry. the hell that's for. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is true. At least Sasha <laughs> is in fact st shorter than Alexander. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just because it's a diminutive doesn't mean it's actually smaller. If you look at um, Katarina, Katya, and then Katusha, you know. Katyusha is not that much smaller than... Anyway, whatever. Diminutives are weird in, in Russian. Um, so, yeah. So, Polya steps out of the woods. She is okay. enormous. Um, this is one of the biggest people you've ever seen in your life. Um, is she like seven and a half feet tall or like 25 feet tall? She is... Okay. I should have right. Or I forgot, 700 pounds. I forgot yeah. that this was a game that where you could become like 48 feet tall. <laughs> she is not 48 feet tall. She is like That's seven a start. and a half feet. Okay. Um, and she has a riot control grenade launcher, um, and she is looking very grumpy. Okay. So she basically says, you know, in a in a relatively heavy Russian accent, you know, who are these people, and what are you standing around for? Why is your Russian accent exactly uh, the same as your Scottish accent? Because I am not good at doing international accents. I've lived in the, Virginia my entire life. I've never even been out of the country. The, <laughs> the Russian, for the Russian accent, I don't speak one. The throat. Russian accent. It's not good. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, I kind of, I, I repeat my introduction. Okay. And request to be brought up to speed on the situation. Uh, Roll it up. And then I, I, I address her as sir. Th that is, that seems appropriate. I repeat what he says in Russian. Yeah. Oh, a Russian speaker. All right. We got... Yep. Let's see if I'm you, just how a, well you can schmooze through a translator. I'm just witnessing the entire situation with the... Uh, um, uh, Sorry, y'all are breaking up a little bit there. I'm just witnessing the entire situation with amusement. Nice. All right, Josh, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that is very good. 16? Okay. Yeah. So... Uh, she, she is sort of taken aback by your official looking nature. Um, you can obviously tell that she has enormous respect for authority. Um, and so she, she kind of comes over, she like, you know, adjusts her uniform a little bit and then sort of walks over to you with sort of a martial bearing. Um, that would be a great name for a superhero. Oh my God. Martial bearing. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, uh, moving along. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> writes things down. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just, her name's not Polly anymore. Um, so she walks over to you and she says, oh, I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, who, who did you say you were from? Where did you, where did you say you were from? The Federal Bureau of Investigation. FBI? Yeah. Oh, no, they're on to us. And um, she basically fires a gas canister directly into her chest. Okay. I'm directly into her chest? 
Oh, you no, directly into into Josh's chest. Can I'm I totally fine. can I get reminded of how implements work now? Like, is it just the same as before, but you have to pick which implement that you want to use at the beginning of the fight, and then that's what you get? I, the other I there's only one implement. Yeah. You can only have one. Yeah. Oh. You can have an, you can have a main hand and an off hand. But you can't skip between them. How many implements do you have? Two. Mm. What what are your different implements? Precision and power. Well, they did two implements didn't go away. You said that if you had to, they would stay. So you still yes. have Yeah, I did not delete old ones. Right. Okay. I may have also forgotten to I thought I got rid of the new implement button. So yeah. basically he just The new implement it. button is not there anymore. It's fine. And just ignore yeah. that I have a power implement. And just pretend yeah, that only the precision one exists. That is acceptable. Yeah. That's fair. All right. So um the the guy who you disarmed basically just like runs out of the fray um because he does not want to deal with this. And especially since you have his gun. Yeah. Uh I but do every, have that. everybody else kind of they they're a little bit slow on the uptake. Um, she's in full battle mode, but they're still trying to shake off your bamboozlement because um, they were having a lovely conversation with a very patriotic American, and yeah. everyone loves that. Um, okay, so I'm moving you guys over to the next map. Let me see if it's the right one. Uh, it does not appear to be. <laughs> I sliced all of these up. Oh, that's such a pain. Okay. Uh, apparently, I... There we go. Back to form. God. I may have <laughs> uploaded too many images into this, and it just totally turned it up. All right. Well, that's fine. We're just going to fight on this map, and you guys are just going to have to bear with me. Well, let's start mm -hmm. dragging folks onto the... And I'll just draw stuff. Actually, you know what? We're just going to fight on a blank page, because I'm not, I'm not cutting that back up again. That is so annoying because I uploaded. That means it only retained one of the one, two, three, four, five maps for this. If you go to your, there's a tab that shows you all of your uploads. <clears throat> yeah, and I thought it was just not loading the thumbnails, but all of these are blank. So something must have gone wrong. Well, yeah, your maximum limit. May, maybe I did. Well, it, it may have just. I don't know. The upload might not have gone right, but it's fine. Uh, we can play on a blank map. Um, we have an imagination. Imagination. So I can draw shapes, right? With a free hand? Huh? Yes. Awesome. Okay, so the road is coming in like you this. You have map. not changed us. Yeah, we're map. still on, we're oh, still yeah, on the old map. Uh, but uh, but uh, but uh. Okay. Okay. Snow. Um, the and then Owl I can grass. draw freehand, right? Yeah. Okay, sweet. So the road's coming in like this. Road, road, road. Um, you've got your little spike strip is right here. The car is right here. Um, you can also use rectangles. I know, but I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm not switching between tools, dude. I'm, I'm just laying it down. Right. Um, the road continues off kind of in this direction. Um, and, uh, this gets like, it's pretty rocky and craggly through here. Uh, it is also rocky and craggly through here. Um, and the rock craggles kind of, those are the bounding boxes for the rock craggliness. Um, craggle, craggle. And then down know. in here, it is like incredibly super duper marshy. I am going to assume that's Marco. What gave you that impression? Because you love doing that. <laughs> yeah, because it's like your... It's your signature move. Yeah, right. signature move. Exactly. It's so either that arrested. or dropping your cards onto someone else's... Uh... <laughs> well, so I haven't done that today uh, yet, actually. Uh, I should probably take care of it. There's okay. some gloopiness. In, in here, Josh. Fiber. Here you go. Uh, Keep it, Josh. Keep it. And here come the baddies. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's keep away. 
I do it to Matt. The perfect crime. <laughs> we're going to load assets. <laughs> but also, I will need that uh, back at some point. <laughs> how did I do that last time? It's the one that looks like a hamburger. You just drag and drop them on the thing. Mmm, <laughs> drag and drop. Alright. Drag and drop things. Drag and drop things. Alright. Oh, that'll work. Okay. So, we've got some faceless goons here. Um, That's my favorite type of goon. So, this is faceless goon. Hang on. Oh, I I gotta I gotta say, not in love with this interface. You have mentioned it a couple of times, yes. I think, yes, we've heard that one. I think, yeah, <laughs> we've all heard the excuses about the interface. Want to so the that, sleeping uh, manifestations that were all in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> they just pop out. They just all get out of the car like, yeah, like, like, like a clown car. Like, like a clown just, car. Yeah. But did, did a little, did, like, imagine they just keep four manifestations come car. out, and then Josh is fuck seemingly come out, and then yeah. uh, like four elephantic jewels come out. They're not even like actual <laughs> real things, but they still do. <laughs> Where is the clever visual metaphor? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. So, mm. if I, if I, can I do? Can I duplicate that guy now? God, I hate this. You can copy <laughs> and paste him. There's no duplicate, but there's copy and paste. I I can't do that. Oh oh oh. Um, command C. Oh, command oh command I see. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay. All right all right. No, I just I didn't realize it was working because it was duplicating it right on top of it, which totally makes sense now. I was looking at the COVID cases in the area, and the new cases per day is still over the number we were at in like March and April. Yep, well, nailing it. Definitely, <laughs> definitely turdsing it up. I mean, owning I, the we're owning the libs, boys. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be this way until there's like a vaccine or immunization, or which something. is or people incredibly wear tragic. Masks. <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 or. All the old people die, and then everyone dies that has the virus. Mm, yeah, are fine. seems but, seems fine. It's great. So yes, uh, so I'm thinking it's going to be vaccine or immunization, and then things will be. Todd, Todd, don't you know that Bill Gates is going to use the immunizations oh. to put microchips in your penis? Put <laughs> oh. right. Also, the, also Wait, I'm I'm. I'm, I'm I'm assuming that uh, when the vaccine comes out, we'll see a fusion of anti-vaxxers and anti-maskers being like in a, in a one conglomerate. That, that... Yes, I can. It's my. I can tell you what their name is. It's my fucking aunts. <laughs> <laughs> but once once the vaccine is out, fucking have fun. Yeah, like you're the one that's gonna die. Yeah. Right? Like, at true. that point, it starts really being point. significantly less my problem. Yeah. yeah. Yes. The only problem I have is that my 95 year old great uh, grandfather lives with them, and uh, oh no, I'm a, I am attached to him on a sentimental level. Yeah, that's yeah. that is unfortunate. That's uh, optimal. <sighs> It'll be unfortunate right. when I have to kill them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to sacrifice them for the greater good yeah all right so uh polia just fired a tear gas canister directly into um the penguin what's Early. your what's your character's name again josh threads threads that's right okay so threads you just took one in the chest <laughs> okay well what's the you know she's yeah. gotta do better than that <laughs> i'm rolling it up all right blah 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 blah, blah, blah. Wait, She's trying to make him take one in the chest, but <laughs> we know that the yeah. success rate of such endeavors tends to be low. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, so... Uh, but it, but, but, there it is. Okay. Um, got it. Alright, so that's going to be a d12 and a d6. Button, button, who's got the button? Oh, dear. Oh, no. Not great. A lot. Um, so, okay, so that means you take, uh, uh, 
You know, for, for being a freaking grenade, uh, only for only 1d6 is not that bad. You so take probably 15, a you take fif effect. 15 damage. Um okay. you are blinded. And this attack has a makes you feel very weird. Okay. It does something else to you, and you're not sure what it did. Uh, okay. It released but, smoke. But on the bright side, a like when she blasts me with this thing, yeah, like it is a, a wrap of cloth, kind of like wraps around her, and okay. then it's sort of like when a magician pulls a handkerchief off something in their hand, and then their hand is empty. Yeah. Like that happens and then the handkerchief vanishes like into the air. And she's just gone. Hmm. Wait, she's gone? Yep. Yeah. What is this ability? Uh, I have confined her extra cosmically. Okay. <laughs> so she is like trapped in a parallel universe. Okay. Uh, for the next several seconds. That's pretty amazing. All right. The good news is she's immune to damage. So. Hmm. Yeah. So you get hit in the chest, you are overcome with gas, um, something else bad happened, and then she winks out of existence. And this all takes like <laughs> like 10 milliseconds. Well, yeah, like as the thing hits me, that is what happens, is that she's like enrobed, and then like vanishes. a bonbon. Yeah. And then vanishes. Okay, that is amazing. All right. You still take the damage? Yeah, I do. <clears throat> okay, well, you heal uh, 12. All right. That puts me at my minimum unhealable. All right, so... Wait, did uh, I have three fatigue? Did you already have two fatigue? I, I have three fatigue damage. I took one fatigue from the landing. All right, the landing. Uh, I took one fatigue just now, I think. Okay. Actually, is 15 enough to fatigue me? I assumed that it was going to. Uh, it may not be. Oh, yeah, crap. Yeah. Uh, I fatigue it is. 14. 14. 14 is me. Uh, right. Marco? Yes? I'm sorry, you also get hit by that attack. Uh, uh what? Yeah, okay, you crit me or Josh? No, I crit, I crit Josh, definitely. Uh, so, so what, what's could... the, what's the, yeah, you, what's the, what's the, what's the to hit? Yeah, and you're gonna take, um, do, 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 do. Doodly doodly doo. Okay, I'm, you I'm assuming 12. you you. Oh, I'm sorry. You do not take twelve. You take. I take uh, nine, eight. my dude. You take eight. No, I don't. It's Josh got hit for sixteen. I got hit for nine. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, yes. That's how creeds work. <laughs> I am bad at math. So, I know this is inviting trouble. Yeah. But the grenade blast hits threads and whisper, but not me. It does oh. miraculously does not hit you. Oh, I have a question. It's a remarkably linear cloud of gas. I'm, I'm in the car. Yeah. I, I am in the car. You're in the car and you are blind. The, the, this, it's gas. <laughs> yeah, but it's not... Okay, uh, this is... You actually get hit by the canister as well. It's Through a, the it's, car door? Yeah, through the window. You're not in like a. You're not in like a. You're not in a tank. You're in a Kia. <laughs> okay. We're in a Camaro, <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> With the top down. Oh wait, that doesn't help. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We are ab. We are absolutely in a Camaro, and the top is absolutely down. <laughs> okay. Mm. So yes, you definitely get hit by this. Okay. You're not talking your way out of it. You've you've done enough of that already. I literally have done nothing. I've just <laughs> it made sense. <laughs> I don't funny. understand why we're still using this guy with a finger up his nose instead of the much better Marco icon. <laughs> I found. He's he's doing it to spite me because I deleted all his macros. <laughs> to be fair, he did delete all my macros. <laughs> all right, so you all are gonna get around because of Josh's bamboozlement of the SWAT guys, um, or you know whoever these like standard goons are um so international men of mystery um so you all get to go uh where are you going marco 
uh, out of the car since apparently it offers no protection. You're you're blind. I am in a car. What? <laughs> Are we just saying random facts? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have some whiskey. Oh yeah, you're, <laughs> you're blind. President, there were forty-four others. Okay. You got blinded by that attack. Blinded by the lights. That's fine. Uh, so should and I? And you're also feeling the other effect that you can't. Sure. Uh, what's the what's the role? It's expertise. No, yeah, but I'm not trading grace, right? So it's uh, just a That's right. blank D, blank D twelve. Where are you trying to go? Uh, as south. Southeast. So pick, pick a target point. Yes. And then you scatter off that point. This is my target point. Okay. okay. Wait, but I mean, the, it's only blind for like the beginning of the movement, right? This is like an effect type of thing. Like this area is covered in smoke. That's why I'm blind, right? No, you are blind. This happened tear, to your It's eye tear part. gas. You have, you have caustic you... chemicals in your eye part. Okay. Yes, that is yes. what's happening. Okay. Bad things happen to your eyeballs. You are not in a cloud of smoke. I mean, there is smoke around, but the bad things happened to your physical eyeball. I'm going to align beliefs on these mooks down at the bottom. Um, okay. Probably not going to get them all, but it'll uh, it'll do some of them. So how how's how's this eleven in terms of going places? And actually, that was not my destination. This was okay. Not... Wait, I thought I thought what are the rules for blind movement again? I thought he had to okay. move so somewhere randomly. Made... So, uh, when you Mid attempt roll. to move uh, to a non-adjacent object while blind, yeah. Uh, first, you the the distance the the actual location you move to is offset from the intended location is eleven minus your grace check result times five feet. So zero. Okay. So he rolled an eleven. So he he stuck. The okay. Wind. So he's good. He manages to. You to do manage that. to get there. Okay. Yeah. And when when you leave the vehicle, you notice the other effect, um, which is you moved 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. No, that, that's too much, actually. Really? I moved that much? Uh, you just I moved 30. Again, tell me. Yeah. I moved 30 feet. You move thirty. You move thirty feet. Okay. Yes. So, uh, be you notice the other effect pretty much immediately when your feet touch the ground, but you can't really stop yourself, and that is, you are moving unbelievably quickly. Um, you end up here. So if you want to You're double my movement, uh, that's more than double. Yeah. No, it's it is more than double. <laughs> it's not doubling your movement. Okay, but you are of course like this is the line. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. So you would end up sixty. What like here? Can I make uh, Can I make a grace check to stop myself? No, it, it's y this is brand new. I know this is brand new, but it takes me a while to move 30 feet. <laughs> <laughs> you, are uh -oh. you are moving this blindingly fast. Okay, how, how far away do I go? So 90 feet um, in a line with where you are. How, ma how much? Yep. So now you are there, where you're pointed. Okay. Yep, you are now in the goop. All right. You want, okay, there you go. So you kind of go Wah! as you go flying out of the car um, at three times your normal speed. All right. I gather courage. And you splash <laughs> down in the muck. Don't worry. Right. That's probably not all animal feces. <laughs> I, I, I am glad that that's a thing. It's just Arecibo runoff. The, the it's, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's just radio waves. <laughs> right, right. It's just the, all the gloop that's left over from the radio waves. Yeah. All right. So I align beliefs on these guys. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to wait to see again before I attack people. So that is a big whiff on the to hit roll. Um, man, that's... Um, 
Also, can I have my spreading influence back at some point? Like, you already have it back. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Josh has it. <laughs> oh yeah, Josh has it. Right. <laughs> well, we assumed if you wanted it, you you take it back. I can't. <laughs> That's it. That's wrong. Here we go. No, Tom has it now. <laughs> I got you, I got you. Let's see. <laughs> Even before okay, something is something has happened, and I cannot, I cannot right click on my dude and get the. Oh, never mind. It's because I got the. Ah. Inter <sighs> interface. Interface drives me so goddamn nuts. Um, it is messy. Okay. Todd, please, can I have my card back? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't have it, do I? Yes, you do! Alright, that's it. Because Josh gave it to you. Alright, I got roll 20 again. Heck. I missed again. Hard miss. That's Aww. it. I'm done. Alright. That also might pose my turn. So. Roll 20 strikes again. Alright, I run over okay. here. Yep. With, so far, uh, so good. With this card. And I scream. Beware. Oops, I played it face down. Didn't mean to do that. Turn over. There we go. Oh, All right. And I taunt this person, perhaps. Ooh, nice. 13. Vitality. Uh, versus vitality? Yes. Um, That is... Ah, that is a glance. Okay, 13. All right. And it's taunted. Wait, 13 damage on a glance? Yes. Dang, Jabberwock, you badass. I'm badass. Holy, holy crap, that's awesome. All right. <laughs> well, well done. <laughs> that's what I do. Yep. All right, and I've taunted this this far left one. <laughs> hey, now we're not we're not getting into politics here. Sorry. But I have I have taunted it. Okay, so the far left far left is taunted onto you. I'm gonna put a little taunt icon on him, um, which is gonna be uh, he's he's heartbroken. Um, oops. Okay, he's not dead yet. <laughs> All right, so he's taunted onto you, and he took thirteen. Correct. Okay. Awesome. Who's up? Is that all the all the good guys? Uh, Josh, I think I'm just gonna like I'm blind right now. You are blind, yes. All right. Well, this is a new experience for me. Um, I swear this has never happened before. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of like stand there and try to deal with it. Okay. <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna mulligan, or you're just gonna skip. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna try to do anything. Okay. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hold this position. Yeah. Right. So, um, so then, uh, because these guys got skipped over, uh, because they're still figuring out what the hell's going on, uh, we're actually gonna go back to the top of the order, and then they'll get to go during this this round. Um, so let's do, uh, melee. Um, That's so we're back to, we're back to melee. Yep. Wow. That was fast. Right. Did I do that correctly? I think so. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think I did that right. Yeah. Broken Steven's confidence. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was, I was so sure. <laughs> All right. So That's cool. So that means they, yeah, so they missed an entire activation, so they'll activate this time, which means that uh, the two guys who are in melee with you are going to attempt to punch you. Um, and they're going to, like, they have these, um, uh, they have a very sort of elaborate-looking firearm in their right hand, which uh, to you kind of looks like a super soaker, um, if a super soaker was made out of like extremely sleek high tech bits, um, hmm. so basically a super soaker painted black, um, <laughs> and then on their arm, the you see these guys basically just do like a like a 
um, like they're trying to get the last bit out of a bottle of ketchup. Um, and they they have a small extendo shield that comes out of their left arm. And they are ready to clobber you with their extendo shield. Okay. What? I know a I know a dirty joke that involves uh, the trying to get the bit out of the last jar of ketchup. I'm laughing <laughs> <to> myself. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be a D12. There, that's. <laughs> and then a D12 and a D8. All right, so the first one is going to be an 11. Uh, that glances oh. everything. No, it's it's more than that. I haven't added no. anything to it yet. Uh, okay. So that that'll be a um, seventeen versus your. You might. found that it was a way to add the modifiers yeah. directly to the roll. Oh shush! <laughs> that hits me. Okay, and you are going to take uh, three plus seven. Ten. You take eleven. Okay. Uh, oh. And then the other guy is going to roll. 11? Yeah, really poorly. Okay. Um, so he's he's gonna try to hit you with a nine, which I don't think is gonna happen. Correct. So that's a glance. Yes. And you take seven. All right. Okay. So the guy that hit you, um, you uh, are sort of stunned by his shield attack, uh, just just slightly. Um, so you do lose uh, an action on your next activation. Okay. Josh, do you have a facsimile way the hell out in the swamp on purpose? I, it's in reserve. Okay. It's just there, so I don't have to keep making and deleting them. Got it. It's Sorry. it's keeping Whisper company. Got it. Well, just he's plotting out manifestation positions and trying to. Keep All right, while wheeling vortex, these two guys back. I don't move anywhere, so that's nice. zero. So I take zero, but I do get to attack both of them. Nice. Um. The one that I already hit once gets. This is. I have to do. He gets this attack roll of twenty. Oh no! It's. I get a plus D four to hit, the one I already hit. So. Um, oh, nice. I um, guess that's... you can just subtract. I don't know how you want to do that. How do I do that, Josh? One's hurt and one isn't. Uh, so you just don't add the bonus to the one that isn't hurt. Okay, so I rolled a two on the D four, hmm. so that's an eighteen. Okay. Um, and that is expertise. Eighteen versus expertise. Is, yeah, and then twenty on oh, the yeah. one with the heart, and oh yeah, and on the other one. Oh yeah. And that is so, twenty damage to each. Dang. Okay, <laughs> that's that's very good. Um, uh, number one is already looking pretty pretty wobbly. Um, Bachelor number one, <laughs> yeah, not looking great. He was full of vim and vigor a minute ago, and now he's just Feeling full of vinegar. Me. Yeah, and the taunt is obviously gone. I only that only is a special for me. Okay. Cool. Well done. Next. Are we still in melee? Uh, I think melee scrum is... Oh. oh, I, um, sorry. I forgot I have a healing factor, uh, which healed me for, uh, first I healed 10 oh. at the start of my turn. I was I... at, I think I was at, did I take all that damage this I mean, they went. Was I damaged? We had, we hit each other at the same time. Oh, uh, I I think you hit each other at the same time, right, Josh? So I'm not, that, I wasn't damaged yet. You were right? not damaged yet when you hit them. Okay. Because I think that all happened simultaneously. Because that's all in the same scrum. But okay. Johan chose to use your free gather courage action after, like after you do your attacks. Yeah, yeah, but he's at the start of my activation, so I wasn't hurt then. Oh, okay. it's at the start of your activation. Okay. All right. Uh, are you hurt? Steve, Steve, I have uh, two questions for you. Yeah, go ahead. Am I still super fast, and am I still blind? Uh, so this your this is a nut. This is your next activation. Correct. 
So you are not blind. Okay. And you don't feel any weird effects anymore. Is uh, the ground is the stuff that I'm standing on difficult terrain? It is. Okay, so it's gonna take two squares of movement to move here, and yep. then two more to move here, and then I have two more squares of movement. Yes. So I'm gonna move here. And sadly, I think that puts me... Yeah, I can only attack these idiots. Oh, well. Uh, I'm gonna put this play face down for movement, and then uh, I'm gonna begin by spreading my influence over these two idiots. Um... There you go. 21 levels of uh, influence. <laughs> that is a lot of influence. Uh, they, take, they each take 6 damage. and uh, uh, the, the two on the end there? Yeah, this guy. Okay. And this guy. They also both receive a deal, though. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> Party favors. <laughs> That would be a pretty disturbing thing to suddenly happen. Yeah. You get attacked from your rear arc, and then you're just holding Suddenly it you're holding yeah. a deal, though. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is happening? Hey, Tom, Tom, there's something sticking out of your back pocket. We're, we have not trained for this. <laughs> uh, Our so. drill sergeant specifically told me that this would never happen. <laughs> was very clear about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I guess all right, uh are you uh are y'all done there whisper? Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did the thing. Okay. The thing has been done. The person that did the thing was me. Continuing with the ranged activation. I mean adding threads and everyone in the They yeah. are. I I thought maybe they would like to go. Hmm. When does uh, when does uh, Paulina reappear? Uh, she it's has the server activation. Yeah. Okay. So she will reappear when she's ready to do things. All right. I'm gonna trust in threads to handle that. Really? I'm gonna try the same thing as before. I'm gonna try to align beliefs between uh this one and this one. Uh. Well, it's better than last time. Uh, Thirteen versus... 13 versus expertise. Oh yeah, that's a hit. Well, uh, they only take fourteen damage. Okay. But it's fourteen, 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 fourteen. So. Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, that's that is quite impressive. Fourteen, 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 and fourteen. All right. Um. <laughs> so the 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 one on the end that's near um yeah the one on the end that's near Jabberwock is barely barely standing barely keeping his feet um Josh all right is is she back yet uh not yet uh and then but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna move to like. I don't if know. you want to wait until she activates, you can you can do that. Uh, yeah, that's my plan. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna move to there. Okay. So as soon as she appears, I, I want to uh, do stuff. Cool. So the these two guys who are uh, ranged activation. Um, they're going to sort of uh, whip around and try to shoot down at... Um, uh, do, they, uh, do they have the range? Uh, That's a good question, actually. Because uh, I'm 55 away from the guy to the left. They so may, if the range is 50... They may not, actually. Uh, okay, so one of the guys can and one hmm. of them can't. I mean, I'm uh, assuming he can move, but... Yeah, he totally can um but in their current arrangement they can't 
So, uh, so yeah, this guy will take a step back. Oh no, I moved his dong. No, no, no. The dong occupies the uh, like. I know that most of it is spent, but the dong covers the entire guy. So you have to move the dong and also move the guy. <laughs> gotcha. Ta-da! All right, and he's going to. Uh, they're they're both gonna shoot at you with their uh, super soaker blasters from the future. Rude. Did you said, Chris? Extremely. So D twelve D eight. What's that? Again? What is again? What is it against? D twelve D eight. So this will be. This is all against might. Unfortunate. All right, so uh, the first guy is going to be an 18, or no, sorry, a 16 versus your might. Uh, they all hit. I'm sorry, a 17 versus your might. They both hit. Okay. Um, and you are going to then take uh, 8 plus 7, which is 15. 15. And then you're going to take an additional 5 plus 7. Which is twelve. Yes. Okay. Bye. It would still be a catastrophe. If somebody was had a manifestation around me and was able to heal me. Just putting it you out. You are there. you are too far away from me to have a manifestation. I in my in my in my defense, uh, it's not on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got it. Popped up on super cool. <laughs> Blasting off into the sunrise. Yeah, if I had a manifestation at my farthest point. You would be one hex too far away. All right, two but hex, the good news is, is you don't lose an action on your next activation. So that's. I wasn't point. planning to. <laughs> All right, uh, so Polya shows back up. Um, All right. Threads is directly in front of her. Um, I'm going to blast her in the face. Okay, blast away. All right. I'm going to give her the. Uh... The old heave ho. Fluctuating uncertainty. Oh, nice. I'm gonna moment of greatness it. Nice. And I'm gonna give it the encroaching oblivion on top. I guess I should draw two cards first. The good I old didn't need uh... either of those. Um but yeah, so I'm gonna do that. Nice. Oh the uh... do does being hit by the super so her thing is um cause any additional things to happen to me? Um, you, you do not feel weird, uh, you do not feel the same kind of weird. So that's going to be a 14 versus expertise? 14 versus expertise, that is a hit. Okay, so that'll be 11 damage. Okay. Um, she cannot see anything. Nice. It is 15 feet away. I nice. create a text simile here. Okay. And then I dash down to here. Uh, but I am invisible. Okay. Wow. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's that's not great. What does that look like, by the way? Uh, basically, just like a big scarf, like, whips up and covers her eyes. Nice. <laughs> and uh, any, any witty wisecracks? Uh, nope. Nope, just getting the hell out. All yep. right. Okay, uh, so she is... So as you, you try to escape, um, because this is happening simultaneously, she does get a shot at you, correct? Okay. Um, so she's going to actually move adjacent to where you were, which is, like, there. Um, and then she's going to try to whack you. Um, but up, 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 so that's me. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's going to be a seven. What's seven plus eight? Uh, 15. 15? That's versus 15 one. versus your expertise. 18. All right. So that's going to be a glance. So take six okay. and no Another effect. Manifestation on the other side right now. Bloop. Okay, and now she's she's blind and yeah, restricted she's, uh, sight. 
actively bamboozled. Yeah. I, and having a blindfold wrapped around your eyes is about as active as bamboozlement can be. <laughs> All right, I think that's top of the order, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. Move to graveyard. Oh man. Yeah. So everybody except for everyone gets to go, and me. Which is a very funny sentence, and they really want. That is to a say. very funny sentence. It took me a second to realize yeah. you weren't just bullshitting. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay so I'm, I'm gonna. You can go. Play that, or I'm gonna move that to my top of my library. I heal ten. Okay. Uh, the start of my turn. Which, yeah. uh, let's see. You yeah. first heal ten. If I do deal damage to each adjacent enemy equal to ten, so the first thing I do is I deal ten to these two schmucks in front of me. Okay. Uh, all right. The guy, to, yeah. Uh, this guy, real bad day. Um, so, yeah. Annihilated by that 10 damage. What does that look like? Um, as combat goes on and I, the more I get hurt, I kind of go into this, you know... Like blood rage? Yeah, like this crazed state where I'm just spouting nonsense and cutting things. Nice. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> I actually didn't pull up my script, so I don't have anything cool to say. But, uh -oh. I think I think just wailing and thrashing because you're coming down yeah. off of like a <laughs> seven hour bender. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey Marco, how damaged is uh, is Whisper? Uh I'm about halfway through. Right. A little bit more than that. Did this right. did that damage this guy too for ten? Yes. Okay. Uh, that guy is barely hanging on. Okay. That, okay. that actually informs my turn. Me hanging on. Okay. Uh, I move to there. That's a. Is that adjacent to this guy? It's not, is it? No. All right, then yeah. I'll just move around the air. Is that guy? And the other thing is that I can probably won't be able to gather courage during my turn because I'm so far away from all the action, and I need to move closer. So, I can move you closer. That would help, actually. Yeah, okay. Uh, Todd, take your action. I'm going to start moving myself around and setting shit up. All right, Todd. Uh, wheeling vortex. Wait, what? Oh, sorry. Well, they, like, all the bad guys have to go, and then yeah. and I have to go. Yeah. I haven't, yeah. I haven't. I've only healed. I haven't actually done anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Just keep, keep <laughs> oh, doing your right. thing. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. You killed a guy. <laughs> I thought you were <laughs> no, 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 no. You're passive. You killed one guy and nearly killed another. I assume that was your turn. <laughs> yeah, Brick, you Brick killed a guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that really got out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I um, willing vortex to there. Okay. And I uh, hit the one that's who's damaged besides. Uh, I can see if they have all taken at least some at this point. Yeah, because of the aligned beliefs. The one north of you uh, has taken the most. Yes. Okay, so if they're all damaged, that's a 20 ex oh. to a versus um, expertise to the two guys that I'm touching. Okay. So 20 versus expertise. I've got a good feeling about that. I think, I think that's going to get through. Um, it does. It definitely does. Okay, and that's 20 to each of them. Okay. So <clears throat> the guy, all full of vim and vigor, um, uh, but not enough, neither mm. neither enough vim nor enough vigor. Um, yeah, that's, that's going to kill him, but he's still going to get to strike out at you. Yes, he does. Um, because he was adjacent to you even before you moved. So uh, as his last act on Earth, he's going to try to whack you with his shield. Um, so let's see how that does. Okay, that's hmm. eight, uh, eight plus six, which is, um, so, what, what is that? 14. 14, yeah. 
14 versus your uh, might. That's a glance. Okay. So take seven, and he is annihilated. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So then, uh, Josh, do you want to go first? Or you want to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The okay. inescapable truth is coming for these guys. Nice. Um, so this is going to be an attack versus vitality. Oh, wow. Wow. That is the actual worst. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and spend a reroll. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't, doesn't come any worse than that. Okay, right. that's somewhat improved. Marginally uh, better. 13 versus vitality on these guys. Uh, unfortunately, that is not enough. Okay, well, it'll glance them, and that will taunt both of them onto my facsimiles. Okay, least. so they both take nine? Yes. Okay, so far these guys have taken completely symmetrical damage. <laughs> <laughs> and you notice that they're they're looking a little tired, but they still have a lot of fight in them. Yeah. All right, and then I'm going to gather courage, actually. All right. And that will be it for me. Okay, so these two guys are going to try to, um, actually, one of them, no, they're both going to attack Josh. So both of these they guys. They can't see me. What's that? They think, they think that these weird mannequins have attacked them. Hmm. Where? There do not appear to be any weird The mannequins. ones that are adjacent to. Uh... Oh, yeah. Wait, they can, they can do that? They can't see me. Oh, yeah, oh, right. You're invisible. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, then this one is going to attack Jabberwock instead. They're um, taunted by me. Taunted. As well. they have to, have to... Oh, they have to attack these. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. I got you. I got you. Sorry. Well, day late and a dollar short. Um, so fine. Oh, the deep, deep, deep troll. 15, 20. <laughs> so these guys. That is, that is extremely expert trolling. Um, so these guys are going to run up here. Dildo's akimbo. <laughs> and uh, and attempt to whack these facsimiles. Title of your sex tape. I'm just going <laughs> to I'm just going to roll to see if they hit first. Um Okay, that, that does it. That will kill my facsimiles. Okay. That's <laughs> you have to successfully kill your facsimile. All right. So facsimiles are gone. And now it is Polya's turn, I believe. But her universe ends 15 feet right. away from her. So she's just going to charge off in some direction. Run into the car. Run into the car. Which you're going to do <laughs> as a D6. Just trip over it. <laughs> over here. All right. So that'll be what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So she goes charging off in this direction. Um, and ends up there. My freshman roommate had broken his nose three times, and one of them was because he had tripped over a Honda. <laughs> <laughs> how? How? He didn't elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a was Honda. It? it was E Honda. He had slipped <laughs> on a Super Street Fighter 200. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, back of the order, back to the top of the order. Oh, where is the, the where is the, what? No, she's super far away from me now. I wanted to attack. And those guys are Ray. dead. No, they're still alive. Never mind, they're alive. They take strong. ten now. Oh no, they don't. They're gone. Yeah, yeah they uh, they ran up because Josh bamboozled them. Okay. Um. So, can I be moved closer I, I, now? Yeah, okay, so I'm going to move to here. I'll move a facsimile to here. One, two, three, there. Um, I would like to be within 50 feet of here, if I can. But... Uh, I can only move you 15 feet. Well, that's... Uh, is that sufficient? Look, it might be sufficient. It's the service we offer. Um... Is barely insufficient. That's fine. I'll, I, I'll move. I'll take any healing that you can... Yeah, so I'm gonna. So, uh. Oh, so, gosh. Uh, so there's there's my move, and then I will mind over matter, uh, whisper. So you heal seven. <laughs> you heal 17. It's 
Sweet. That is excellent. And then you swap places places with the the guy talking to the Andean walls. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's my go. I'm done. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, this time I would like to pause that. Uh, I pay a lot of attention to figuring out if. Uh, uh, actually, I'm gonna be here. Uh, to figuring out if uh, I'm starting to move it at instant speed immediately after <laughs> the I start moving. Uh, but. <laughs> Um, I will uh, deploy focused intensity against uh, what's her name. Oh, on Paul, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I will also have to put a hard face down to do the thing. Uh, there you go. How's a uh, seventeen versus expertise? Uh, yeah, I believe that. Oh, yeah, that's a hit. All right, so she, she takes uh, 13 damage. Okay. And also, the other two guys that have a deal, though, each take eight. Nice. <laughs> we call that Teledildonics. <laughs> Correct. That is the scientific name, I believe. Yes. <laughs> um, I'm done. <laughs> they are not happy to be thusly slapped. <laughs> to also, like, you know... like. I, I just advanced towards her, and then, like, as I walked to her, I just clap my hands. And, uh, <laughs> like, basically, from the clap, there's, like, smaller, like, centers of, like, sound that just explode on the way. And then there's just the one that just, like, claps in front of him with uh, damaging force. That is and... terrifying. You're like, a, you're like a walking pistol shrimp. Yes. <laughs> I, That's I, it. You are, I just you are thought the man- that up, and I do not like it. <laughs> you, are the man- you are the mantis shrimp. You the are no longer shrimp. whisper. You are mantis shrimp. <laughs> mantis shrimp. I do not like this. Okay. What so, are you eating, Steven? What's that? What are you eating? And is it a pistol shrimp? Uh, rice with cheddar and broccoli. Okay. Hey, um, what's he eating? In the big bag of Doritos. <laughs> so it's baddie time. Um... That's my baddie, least favorite time. Uh, I guess the baddies are not taunted anymore. Um, so, and facsimiles have disappeared. So this baddie is going to take the initiative and try to destroy the clapper. Take out the clapper. So he's going to squirt you with his magical high-tech squirt gun. I continue saying that that's very rude, but sure. <laughs> All right. Texan is in the wrong places. <sighs> okay, so that's gonna be uh, nine plus six is. That hits everything. Okay, so that's gonna be a hit, and you're gonna take a ooh, pretty pretty gnarly on the damage roll there. You're gonna take fifteen damage. Still insufficient in order to fucking. Uh, that was good. <laughs> oh, and you do lose an a- wait. No, you don't. Never mind. All right. Okay. So this guy is full of what may possibly be Vim. And um, Slash or Vigor. And he's going to attack everyone. Wow, this is going to get confusing. Um, Wait, so... he can do that? Oh. <laughs> It's the it's the who's on first gift that keeps on giving. It is glorious. I love it. All right. So D twelve and a D eight. Boop boop. All right. So that's gonna be uh seventeen yeah, hits your might. Yeah, okay. definitely. So you're gonna take uh five plus seven, which is what twelve? Yeah. Today. Take twelve. All right. Polya's turn. Uh, Polya is unbamboozled, correct? Yes. And Polya really does not like the FBI man. <laughs> Let's see if you're within range. Mm. You are. All right. So Polya is going to try to shoot Josh again, having learned nothing. 
common theme. <clears throat> and uh, oh, and actually cannot shoot Josh. Uh, <laughs> what a sucker. Working as yep. intended. Okay, not from there anyway. Hang on a sec. Uh, so is going to move to there, I think. And then, oh dear. You all made a bad decision. Um, I would <laughs> say we made a series of bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Counterpoint, we fuck this up all the time. <laughs> we right. fuck this up on several occasions. <laughs> okay, so you all are in a juicy tender line. Um, so tender line? Tender, tender line. We're in San Francisco? And is go in, the, in the midtown tender line? Oh, man. Don't ask me why I know that. Uh, uh, I've never been to San Francisco, but... I know every town with a tenderloin. Okay, so this gets complicated. So this, uh, if it's in a 25 foot line, do I have to roll for each one of you? No, no, roll one. Okay, this mm. is just one big roll. All right, so that'll be that for the D12. And then- Hold on. Something may happen here. <laughs> Something hilarious. And then that for a D6. <laughs> All right. Uh... <clears throat> These fringes are hardly scrutable at all. <laughs> okay, so. Uh... Oh, I love this attack. <laughs> okay, oh, so wait. which, which, what defense is that against? Hmm. This is against, um, expertise. Okay. Well, hang on. Uh, <laughs> oh. this, there we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, she attacks herself. Nice. Shoots okay. herself right in the face. Yep. So somehow manages to shoot herself in the face with a gas canister. So um, it still it still d will affect the other two people on the line, but instead of hitting instead of hitting me, it. It's her, and give me a second because I will explain the special effect for that. Okay. <laughs> explain the special effect. No, like, at, it, during my turn, during my oh. activation, I will explain the special effect for that. Got it. Well, okay. So the, the other two of you... Um, well, I, I, I want to burn a luck to make her re-roll that 11. Okay. All right. Burn away. Oh, for, what it's, I, for what it's worth, I forgot to mention this earlier, but she also has a deal, though. I, uh, I assigned it to her. Gotcha. Throw one on there. Yeah, you're really good. Um, so, hey, uh, if, if that gets re-rolled, does that count against Jabberwock as well? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's one attack roll, and it's just forcing a re-roll on it. Okay. Um... But then does that affect her attack on herself? It will, yes. Okay, all right. So are you forcing the reroll? Yes, I am. Awesome. I don't want to, I don't want to get hit. Okay. <laughs> so that'll be a seven uh, plus eight. Oh, geez. <laughs> yeah, that still hits. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> uh, and that is versus expertise. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. all right. So you take a hit. Uh, is fifteen versus expertise enough to hit you, Jabberwock? It's attacking what? Expertise. expertise. Oh, sorry. I, I thought she was. That was her expertise or something. Uh, my my expertise is thirteen. Okay, yes. so that's going to be a hit, uh, yes. and you're both going to take uh, eleven. Would have glanced at me. <laughs> You're going to take, that can't be right, uh, six, oh, sorry, you're both going to take ten. Um, you are blinded, and you feel really weird. Okay, uh, Todd, you're healed for twelve. Okay, no baddies. All right. <laughs> um, do I see, I see them get hit, right? Yeah. Yes. yes, you're right there. 
Uh, I yell at them, watch out, that gas gives you the zoomies. But then I, <laughs> resu- I, refu- I refuse to explain in any greater detail what, what the what zoomies the are. They observe the zoomies, right? <laughs> wow. Okay, so, so on my activation, Okay. is she done? Yes, she is done, and that does still hit her, even with the reroll. Okay, so on my activation... We'll start with a paradoxical trajectory. Okay. So what happens is that basically, like, I take a step forward. Yeah. And as I step forward, like, I step out of her. And now I'm, like, wearing her outfit. So there's, like, a second, there's a second outfit that's (laughs) identical. And then, like, her outfit sort of, like, duplicates. And now I'm in the copy of her outfit that's next to her. Okay. And I look down into the pocket and I go, ooh, gum. And she looks down at her pocket and then the gas canister flies out into <laughs> <of> her face. <laughs> the old sand in the pocket trick. Yeah. Spectacular. Now that um, is some high quality bamboozling. Yeah. Uh, and then and then I attack her. Nice. Um, so I'm going to Inescapable Truth, which will actually attack both her and the other guy that I'm next to now. Yeah. Um, and the uh, attack roll. So that'll be uh, not very good. 11 versus Vitality. 11 versus Vitality is not going to hit. Yeah, that's all right. Um, so that will be, oh, well, it's actually 13, because I'm, I'm, yeah. Still not going to hit. Okay, but, so that's going to be nine damage to each of them, and it will taunt them both. Okay. Uh, so that's Polya and the one that's adjacent to you. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, so that will be my activation. Nice. Are we in ranged? Yes. Awesome. Okay, uh, the guy who is next to you, Josh, is a, you know, barely, barely held together mass. He is a man held together principally by armor. Okay. He is just jello inside an exoskeleton at this point. All right. Like most things inside an exoskeleton. Yep, that's true. That is how (laughs) exoskeletons work. Okay, uh, who's up? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm re-rolling uh, my first result. Uh, nice. Does a 17 hit uh, Polia on, on uh, against what? expertise? Yes, it does. Uh, awesome. Uh, so I wasn't going to... I mean, I guess the damage, the damage is uh, exactly the same. So she takes 23 damage. Okay. Uh, Did you call her Polio? Po- Polia. Polia. Polio, uh, got it. Also, the other two guys with the deal, though... Each take another eight. Okay. <laughs> this guy is not having a good day. I I'm was kind of hoping I would get to I would get to murder him, but apparently yeah, he, not a he, thing. He collapses oh, in Marco, a Marco, you you may just get the chance. In a bag of armor. Um and this guy is not looking great. I'm out of there. Oh no no, 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 stay. Stay, stay, stay. Oh, you got ranged abilities. Never yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I just need to be within 50 feet. Like, my God, this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You bravely retreat. Um, so, Polya... Did Polya... Oh, actually, I changed my mind. I am, in fact, not out of there. I'm still here. I will get sad, okay. gather courage, <laughs> because I noticed that my health is not super great. Good idea. Feeling woozy. Um, so Polia is going to attack Josh. And in fact, are you adjacent to Polia right now? She yeah. already attacked me this activation. Oh, okay. Are yeah, we she's, back not, she's, she's not a boss. All right. She's not the You're... boss of me. I haven't done range. We haven't done ranged. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I was the only one in range, though, right? Was anybody else in ranged? I was in ranged, yeah. Oh, then uh, go do the range stuff. Range away. 
Okay. Um, I uh, I play Harmonious Contemplation. Okay. Nice. Which lets me gather courage, first of all. And Good. then um, the... Well, let me gather... Oh, let me gather courage for six. That's, yeah. Okay, well, better than nothing. Um, and then uh, I get to manifest within an ally in 25 feet. And oh, they oh, can oh. Play the, and they can play an attack card from their hand. What? <laughs> <laughs> you mean like I this here focused intensity, for example? Yeah, which is... That's my basic action for this turn. So yeah, uh, I manifest within Whisper. And nice. We, we synergistically work together on uh, blowing people the fuck up. Uh, I will not reroll all the damage. Okay. Sounds good. Fuck. I forgot uh, about the curse. Uh... The the curse of the app. Yeah. Uh, so we, we don't get a hit, sadly. Uh, Polia will uh, uh, only take 33 damage from my glance. Okay. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, is that a miss? Oh, it's a miss. You're right. Uh, so she only takes uh, f eight. Sorry, sixteen damage from my miss, and the other what? guy takes eight. It's, it's always. <laughs> wow. It is always. All right. Gross. <laughs> That's that is completely disgusting for a miss. I don't like that. So, are uh, you an ant attack three or two? Uh, two, right? Anyway, that's my turn. I'm done. That is extremely. <laughs> I have. I have to think. Four jewels on her. No, I have two, but I have to think that doubles the effect. I have the things that yeah. doubles the effect of jewels. Nice. Okay. 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 All right. So this guy is annihilated, um, completely, uh, by whatever the hell just happened to him. <laughs> Um, what did that look like, by the way? There was a lot going on there. Uh, like, so when uh, I, the way that the Seeds of Possibility uh, looks like when, for me, is that is le it is leftover turbulence uh, okay. in the air left around somebody. So, like, I'm again clapping my hand and the, the trail of, like, small sonic booms kind of goes completely wide but the leftover turbulence left behind these people just awakens and they're just rent apart by the uh, rent apart by the um by by the sound getting by 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 the, by the sound picking back up and getting loud again. That is terrifying. NGO. Yeah. Like NGO. a balloon <laughs> and something bad happens. It is terrifying. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's I mean that is really really awful. Um, that's like being underwater when a bomb goes off and like you don't get killed by any of the bomb fragments you just get liquefied <laughs> yeah the, the shock wave just water. gets yeah. uh... okay well uh, Jabberwock go for it okay I wailing vortex uh, to there like basically I to give you a... a great one and I expel agony same time. Nice. She's damaged, right? Let's yes. Oh yeah. This. Oh yeah. So I attack her. That's a uh, two. That, oh, that'll my, hit my pretty much anything. D four was a one. Okay, that is twenty one. <laughs> sparky, sparky, boom man. Yeah, okay. sparky. Exactly. It's sparky, sparky, that's boom man, but like with uh, sound instead that's of. Uh, that's oh, that's that's huh? totally a crit. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is a crit under there. Yeah. Hey. Uh, we had to dig crit. deep to find the crit. The crit was inside you all along. That's this this round. Thirty five. That's been absolutely true. <laughs> Thirty five. It's, it's plus fourteen for a crit. Yeah. yeah. Good lord. Thirty five in one go. Yes. And then <laughs> and that's the worst part. <laughs> then since I wheeling vortex there. I'm damaged, so I will self-inflicted wound myself and gather courage. Nice. Which then does ten more. Do you need you to be to be healed? I don't need to be healed now. Okay. Okay. Um, 
So then she takes an additional 10 from my self-inflicted wound. Okay. And each other ally in 15. Is there anyone in within 15 of me? Let's see. One, two, three. Yes. One, two, three. Everybody. The person who is taunted. One, two, one, two, three. Everybody but Marco gains a bonus resistance on the next attack. Wait. Bonus resistance on the next attack against them before your next activation, and you deal. So you deal damage to yourself equal to your gather courage value. So you don't, you don't actually gain any. Oh, uh, I didn't heal then. Right. Yeah. You don't net heal. So you gather courage, and then you immediately hurt yourself. Oh, okay, because it's a wound. Okay. Yeah, it's a self-inflicted <laughs> wound. All right. So it neutralizes, but whatever damage you do, it heals. Yeah. Well, how much bonus resistance do they get? What, whatever your gather courage value is. Oh. Try not to light my beard on fire. My gather courage is only what? three. How on Edward teach of you. Oh, this was probably not updated. Okay, so I need to make a note. This is supposed to be your like combined gather courage value. Okay. So, so I need to update this template. All right, so it's thirteen then. So everybody heals for thirteen. No, they have a bonus resistance of thirteen. Oh, nice. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Um. That is extremely cool. Um, except except uh, a little ham sandwich. Right. <laughs> Who's not a literal ham sandwich anymore? <laughs> right, the, the pistol shrimp. Right. <laughs> uh, all right, so I guess that's back to the top now. Yep, I guess, yeah, so I guess okay. from... so, oh, she's uh, fine. That was like 45 damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is she's still alive. Um she's gonna take a step back. Um and then she is going to uh sort of try to barrage down this line with threads and whisper. Um and she is going to hope for the best. <clears throat> Okay, so that's going to be, oh, I'm sorry. That was supposed to be a D6, not a D8. My I hope bad. the best is her potentially shooting herself in the face again. It can we'll, happen. We'll find out. Um, so that'll be, that'll be, uh, <clears throat> um, sorry, that, that is 19 versus your expertise. Go ahead and assume that hits. And then um, ignore the seven because it's actually, um, yeah, it's 12 damage. Uh, sorry, it's 11 damage. Man, I cannot do math. Guess, guess who's yeah, got, huh. guess yeah. got two infused courages in their hands and uh, manifestations correctly placed within 15 feet. <laughs> nice. How many, so, how much resistance do I have? 13. 13? Yeah. Okay. And how much damage is that? 19? Wait, how much What's... damage is she going to deal to you? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's not much. It's uh, it's 11. Oh, well, that's less than 13. Yeah. So the, the resist just eats it all. Cool. Yeah. Right, never mind. I'm not healing you guys. You don't need it. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, so nothing. Well, happened. Marco still gets hit, right? Oh, I mean, <laughs> yes. um, by what? Uh, <laughs> By a gas canister. <laughs> Welcome Wait, to the okay. game, Marco. You're you're going Welcome out back. of this encounter the way you came into it. <laughs> Blind and confused. <laughs> uh, what's there to hit? Uh, the to hit is going to be um, seventeen. Sorry, oh, that, eighteen. That, that hits everything. Never mind. Okay, and then the damage is uh, not a huge amount. It's only eleven. Heal twelve. And you are blind, and you are feeling weird again. That's okay. I'm not. I'm not planning to move next turn anyway. Okay. 
So when she she fires these canisters off and is sort of looking around, all of her backup is gone. Um, you all are sort of closing in on her. So she, you know, says, you know, you have not heard the last of Polya. And she t- rips one of these gas canisters off of her chest, <laughs> cracks just it rip, open. Just yeah, she just rips one. <laughs> yeah, rips a big one. Rips it like out of her bandolier, cracks it open, takes a huge sniff of this smoke. I mean, really whippets it. Um, and then she freaking flies. Um basically she just like disappears and you hear like a sonic boom almost uh i have um, a question speaking of sonic booms <clears throat> yeah what is the range on the um what is the range let's say that they wanted to uh to spend some focused intensities to deal to deal her more damage since i still have linger in there L- lingering lingering uh oh that's true uh, she still has a dildo on her po- yeah. in her pocket like yeah. if i wanted to like have those dildos get activated again what is the range on that two gp oh okay so like she needs to be within my range in order uh, for the dildos right. to okay so <laughs> that would be really funny though if she like got home put her keys on the keys table and then was like wait what's right, this in my exploded. pocket <laughs> they just blew up. I mean, they dissipate after a while, right? Like, I think I know that they're, yeah. but like, they're clearly still active. I wondered if I would just attack the manifestations. And then... All right. Yeah, I should probably specify that. I don't think I do, but like, no, it's not be able to maintain them within fifty feet, right? That it's makes like, sense. You yeah, you, I... you can you can maintain N within fifty feet of you. Yeah. yeah. Right. I don't. I don't. I don't think it says on the class. <laughs> Maybe these, think... maybe it the, doesn't. They missed it. Very possible. <laughs> so I think that's uh, that's about it for tonight. Um, it's eleven eleven, so we might as well call it. Yeah. Um, yep. Somewhere. Same bat time, same bat station, and I'm gonna try to get these stupid maps to work because only one of them did, and it was the big macro map. So. <sighs> you can do it. All right. Well done, y'all. And nobody died from getting gassed and then smashing into the side of the car, which I was kind of hoping for. We all have dreams. <laughs> and then when Josh did it to Polya, I was also kind of rooting for her to smash into the car. <laughs> um, but the dice said no. She just missed the corner of the car. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I have updated Crystal in order, so it now says you may choose the number of aleator jewels within 50 feet of you, up to your vitality, then remove all other jewels. Fixed. Good job. Nailed it. It is convenient being able to just change all the cards from the app as soon as I discover that I need to. (laughs) Can you, um, before we all get off, um, can you Tell me what this chat thing you did was. What was that? He added a chat into, like, just like a like a, a tapping chat, like typing a, ty- a typing. Button. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, it doesn't. Like... It's not deployed yet, but in the campaign screen. So if you go to your campaigns. Yep. Now, if you look at like, if you look at. Uh, Oh, I'm not actually in any joined campaigns. Maybe you didn't add me, Stephen. I can. Um, I haven't added anyone to this. Okay, like, but if you go to like nothing but bones, it just says nothing but bones at the top of it, um, and there will now be two tabs, and one of them will have the current content where it says like, "Here's the campaign information, and these are the player characters, and like, here's all the background." Um, and then there will be another tab next to it that will be like the play tab. And then if you go there, it will have the chat there. Uh, it will have character status and summaries. And ideally, it, like it will also have all your like all your current role bonuses and things like that. Um, but I have to work it out because I have a 
there's like a cap on the number of database transactions that ah. that I can do for the free tier of this database. <laughs> ah. uh. So uh, I have to do it so that it's not just like massively spamming them. Right. But, uh, you know, we'll, well see. Luckily, you're Josh. Yeah, I'll figure it out. <laughs> and you're and so. you said something about an iframe with uh yeah i may just put an iframe with roll 20 in it so then we can just have all of the oh, like oh, so just so it's embedded in the same window oh nice right. yeah. yeah so then you won't have to worry about like writing macros and like having the bars be shit and having <sighs> to rewrite macros like especially as the gm like for if you're for characters, you have to write the macros once, and it's a minor pain. But as like as GM, you go through so many sets of macros, and that's why I haven't been writing macros. Right. So <laughs> what I did, what what I did was I created like, here is my macro for boss attack one two three and mini boss attack one two and like minion attack and regular guy attack one and regular guy attack two yeah. and then just every encounter all i would do is go in and like tweak the bonuses and the dice to each one so that i could just have like those macros and just reuse them and modify them with just like a couple of clicks yeah because it's massively irritating yeah to, to do have to like complicated um, macros for yeah. every possible character so i had like 10 macros total and then I would just go into my bar and like click on like, oh, these are the three that I need for this encounter, or these yeah. are the four or five that I need for this encounter, and that would be it. Um, so yeah. In any case, I'll figure it out. <laughs> cool. All right. And disappointingly enough, I cannot find the video clip of Paul Shearer singing. Hey, old man, what you eating? I mean, big bag of Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tried. Well, I, I will believe you that it exists. <laughs> I was able to find all the ambient walrus cartoons that I got that reference from. But I realized why no one else knows them is because it was a really obscure webcomic I used to read. <laughs> yeah. I... <laughs> Did anyone else used to read The Adventures of Dr. McNinja? Yes, I I love that webcomic. It is amazing. Outstanding. <laughs> I think you're the only other like actual human person I've ever met who who read that. Like, yeah. well, at least you're the only other actual human person I met that read that, and I wasn't the person who directly recommended it to you. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I expect Marco's icon to be updated for. <laughs> 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 Look, I'm giving. I didn't go to the. I didn't go to all the trouble of finding the perfect, the perfect character icon. Look, I, I, I think, I think at this point, what's probably gonna happen is that we're just gonna change my eye on every time, every, um, I've every, every encounter, really... and it's gonna be something that is progressively more and more abstract. Like next time, it's just gonna be a sound icon. The town, the time after, is just gonna be. <laughs> It, it's like the the uh, volume up, volume down icon. Yeah, the time after it, it is like. All I'm saying is, I did my part. I did my part. <laughs> well, maybe I guess those, you can take it or leave it. Maybe but if you don't be... take it, I will be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> We're making avatars, and I'll help. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yep. Good night, everybody. Call it a night. That was a good yep. one. Yeah, have a good yeah, night. Yeah. Way to way to murder a bunch of yeah. dudes and way to not get gassed into wily e coyote running yeah. into things. So hooray! Yeah. All right. Hey. <laughs> good. Bye, Bye. Bye. everybody. Bye. Goodbye. Good night. Night. Good night. Good night. I'm gonna eat the I rest do? of this pot of pasta because that's how I roll. Good job. You're not eating pasta right now. You're texting somebody. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> I I am about to walk over and get some pasta. I don't believe you. <laughs> I uh, am planning. 
I've been playing. I've been playing this game called Deep Rock Galactic with a friend of mine. Uh, where Deep you are Rock? Deep Rock Galactic with a friend of okay. mine. Where uh, essentially amazing. you are uh, you are a dwarf. Okay. In space. Dwarf in space sounds amazing. Uh, and you are part of this uh, uh, essentially dwarf colony on a hostile planet, and you have to go in and like drill up a bunch of material. Like you have to like <laughs> mine a bunch of stuff, right? Like you are a dwarf, obviously you have to mine. That's how dwarves work. Outstanding. And then, uh, and then yeah, there's like enemies that. That sounds of... really cool. It, it, it's pretty fun. Yeah. How is is it like? all about resources or is there combat or no there's combat uh there's um <clears throat> like the way it work that it ends up working out is that there's like basically they give you a mission objective like each mission is like you know 20 to 30 minutes lost okay like basically the way it works is they give you a mission objective like mine these many pieces of this mineral or uh, my find uh, i don't know the remains of the previous expedition, who mega died or whatever, right? Like, and um, you the contents of the space wasp stomach. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, but in order to fulfill this, usually you have to fight your way through a few waves of bugs that come and try to murder you. Because, what is uh, your what is the weaponry of a space dwarf? <laughs> uh, so there's four classes. Okay. Um, there is the gunner. The gunner has uh, their each 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 class has uh, two different uh, types of weapon. Okay. Um, the gunner has. Uh, uh, I remember that their first weapon is a mini gun. I don't remember what their secondary weapon is. Okay. And uh, uh, their special abilities that can create zip lines. Oh, nice. Um, there's the driller who has a flamethrower. And their second weapon is just a bolt gun. And uh, they their special ability is that they have uh, um, mechanized drills that on their arms that they can use to like dig really fast. Um, nice. There's the... Is this, is this like top-down side-scroller? No, it's uh, first 3D? person. Oh, okay. The scout has a grappling hook. I don't, I, I don't know anything else about the scout. I've never played as a scout. And then there's the... Uh, what's the last class called? Oh, the engineer. The engineer has a platform gun, okay. which is a gun that shoots platforms. Um, oh, okay. That is not what I was thinking. Yeah, I know. And uh, uh, their first I was weapon, like a turret on a platform. They also have turrets. They also have make turrets. Nice. Uh, that, uh, but also they have a shotgun and uh, nice. a grenade launcher. I think, if I remember correctly. Um, how how do you how do you dig in first person? You have a pickaxe. There's like a pickaxe yeah, but aren't button. Are you just like staring at a wall? You stare like, at a wall and then you activate your you press your pickaxe button and then your dwarf goes like, and then uh, so it's like digging in Minecraft. Yes. <laughs> okay. I didn't know if you had like a 3D view or something. Yeah, I mean. You can, there's like it's a few ways, but like, yeah, mostly no. It's, 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 <laughs> uh, the, I find that the driller is actually, I usually play driller. Driller is my main. Uh, the, the, I have described driller as it's the class that goes brr the most out of all of the <laughs> classes. <laughs> can you, so, can you hit people, like, can you hit baddies with your mining tools? Yes, the PX deals damage. If, nice. Uh, it's it, like, it's uh, your I ran out of bullets melee attack, and also it's what you use to 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 dig to dig. Yeah, it's both. Um, I mean, a pickaxe is a fairly effective weapon. Yeah, it, I would not want to get hit by a pickaxe. There's <laughs> this big, big fan of or not... a guy who has drills for fists. Yeah, I wouldn't want to get hit by that guy either. Yeah, no, um, <laughs> that guy is all... like my favorite thing is that with the driller. <laughs> You just uh, you just uh, look at the geometry of the level and how like the uh, the cave system is like the the working of the cave system looks out and how 
um, different caves intersect with each other and how to get from point A to point B. And that's and there are a number of situations where you where it's correct to just look at it, choose to ignore it, and just drill a straight line, like <laughs> straight forward, yeah, yeah. yeah, to your destination. It's like. So okay, we can go around here and go there, and then we go left there. Or it just <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, up about twenty degrees, a little bit to the right. <laughs> Are there like different strata? Like, is uh, it harder to dig through certain rocks than other rocks? Uh, not necessarily. Not. I mean, the game is still in bed. I think they. I think they said sure. they implant water at some point. They haven't yet. Uh, the uh, there are different strata in the sense that there are different terrain. Uh, mm -hmm. the, what changes is not like the physics property of the terrain change instead of like maybe some terrain is slippery, some terrain can like okay burn you or whatever. But they in terms of how easy it is to drill through, it's all the same. Cool. Um, yeah, that sounds awesome. Is this on Steam? Yeah, it is on Steam. It's uh, very exp it's fairly expensive for a game that's still in beta, honestly. Uh, it's 25 bucks, which is... Uh, you know, it's not crazy, but... It's yeah. More, but more than I'd like. It's an interesting concept. But it, it's it's really funny. It's just like... <laughs> um, I, I also like that the classes actually really play differently. Like... That is... A huge benefit. I um, hate playing Gunner. I play Gunner a while and I just don't like it. And there's a, my that's my friend Dave that like I play I, I play with him every time and he's get the Gunner every time, right? Like, and it's like, oh yeah, I really like how this class plays. I really like what the challenges that's associated with being a Gunner. Well, is. and I like any kind of game where it's got a real texture to the classes that, like, not only is there like a a feel to it, but it's going to profoundly affect your gameplay. I enjoy. And yeah, I especially hate games where, like, there is one obviously best class, and then everyone just plays that. I mean, the other problem, for example, that's something I noticed with, like, I used to play Destiny with some friends, right? And it's like, technically, yes, there's three classes in this game. They're all absolutely the same. Yeah. Like, yeah. the only they difference between these three classes is cosmetic. Yeah. yeah. Except for that that brief period where Titan was completely overpowered, because mm. um, there was like the Titan or wait was it, what was the class? The the Titan the, is one the, of the classes. I thought I yeah. Uh, I've only played yeah. Destiny two actually, so that is oh, okay. the yeah, in might... Destiny one. There was a there was a really bad OP bug with that where like if you were a ranger you could do like a three arrow combo and it was guaranteed kills for those like three arrows. Mm. But if you were a Titan, you could do like a Titan punch onto the ground and everyone within a certain like area would get annihilated. So Titans would get like, like a 10 kill combo occasionally because people would be bunched up and then uh, Rangers would <laughs> get like three kill combo tops. Maybe. My favorite uh, part uh, in Destiny 2 is that uh, um, uh, the alternate, uh, the, like, you can get kind of these alternate paths for the classes where your super change, which, again, like, nothing is different except for your super, which is like, yeah, okay, <laughs> that's interesting, but, like, the actual mechanics of how you play the, the quote-unquote day-by-day of the class is not different. Yeah. But, like, the... Um, the alternate, uh, um, the alternate ultimate for the gunner was to summon fire hammers out of thin air and start throwing them at the enemies. And it nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a gorgeous game. Don't get me no, wrong. No, no, no. I mean, and it, it was, was actually a lot of fun to play. like honestly, I didn't even care about the class system. Like, yeah. it was fine. Uh, the like, it's. I don't think it's the best way of making that happen, but it's. <laughs> Because like that was, but one of the it it that was I... reasonable. The yeah. thing I didn't like was that the game was really uh, we really like playing the uh, PVE uh, yeah. of the game and like the missions inside how the game worked were just really really easy. There was no challenge so after a while. Yeah. we stopped. We got the game yeah. for free for free right after at a certain point they just be, they just were offering it for free on uh, uh, Battle.net or whatever. Well, so definitely it's... worth it for that. Yeah, yeah it's like. Um... And, uh, but I, that, that was one of the things that I really loved about Team Fortress 2, 
was that it really had a good texture to the different classes um and they really thought it through you know i i don't know that i've ever had as much satisfaction playing a pvp game than i did playing that game as a spy yeah Um, like where you're not you're not racking up huge kill counts but you really feel like you're doing what a spy does you know what i mean like yeah, no, you for can sure. strategize like um, the reality of it is that this level of asymmetrical gameplay like overwatch is another example of this like this level yeah. of asymmetric of asymmetrical gameplay like doing it well is really hard mm-hmm. but when it is done well it, it is uh, i think uh, a lot more satisfying than a lot of this like purely symmetric game like you know yeah like, or whatever it can be no i totally agree because yeah. like it, when you were playing as a spy, you know, you you're not going to get like massive kill counts, but you can get really important kills and you can hit objectives and stuff. Yeah. Like sabotage your kills. job isn't killing a bunch of people. That is. <laughs> yeah, that is. But, but what was great was it felt satisfying even when you weren't killing a bunch of people. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. There, are, there are plenty of games that some of the classes just don't kill as many people, but you don't get any satisfaction out of it it doesn't there's no yeah there's no excitement or reward really i mean um, kind of like slab slash warden is also like kind of an example of that right where like you feel like and obviously it's a role-playing game it's kind of different but like yeah again i love playing tanks in this game because it feels like you're doing a lot of stuff Rather even than though just absorbing damage yeah like yeah. even though your job isn't necessarily the most proactive and i think that is uh that is that is a really cool des- cool design well, i also i love the idea of you can have a tank with like 12 hit points yes like, and it's still a functional tank <laughs> um yeah all right i better hit it but yeah uh, my dude there yeah man. yeah Enjoy i'm also body. I'm also gonna take a bit of a break here and uh, uh, be back uh, playing some uh, Dwarves of the Space Variety in uh, nice. uh, um, some time. Uh, I don't know. As soon as Dave shows up, he can <laughs> off of work now, so <laughs> whenever he's done, you know. Dave. Yeah. Ah, yes, my my good friend Dave. <laughs> <laughs> my strider underscore 69 <laughs> um, alright right. see you later my dude have a good night later